back. It's a Sunday morning, y'all. Didn't have my microphone on. Uh, <clears throat> Sunday morning. Just try to get woke up. Get the juices flowing. The juice is flowing. Red Bull. You ain't got no cokes, but I got my Red Bull. Let's get a. Uh, let's get it going on. Let's beauty. second here Doing pretty good. Okay, we're doing pretty good, y'all. Um, I was just doing a little math in my in my head. That's all. I was just doing a little math in my head. Uh, let's see a second here. See what's going on in the Twitch world before I get started. Okay. So I guess I'm on here pretty early. Yeah, I'm on here pretty early. So and maybe I'll do <laughs> I love it. I love it when people say the stuff that I say, man. It makes it makes me smile so big. My boy uh, Zay said, "You can't catch Moby Dick with a stick." Zay Zay probably coming up in here right now. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Pride Fighter? How you doing, man? How you doing, Pride Fighter? go ahead and get started oh man how, how's the matches been going pride fighter you've been knocking kids out talk to me pride fighter talk to me you've been knocking them out bro i need to go ahead and get hype bro i, need, I probably need to go ahead and bust open this red bull all day pride fighter without spilling the beans Without spilling the beans, without dripping all the sauce, tell me what's meta. Tell me what is the meta. I'll tell you what I believe is the meta. Wipe the top 10 all day. They quit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dude's a beast. Tell me what the meta is, man. Tell me what the meta is. Without spilling the beans, tell me you know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my, my perception of the meta at this moment. My perception of meta. They quit on they quit on you. Oh man. I'm gonna tell you my, my perception of the meta. The meta is Southpaw 
light in their hands. That's the meta. Fighters with light in their hands. Fighters that stand in southpaw stance. That's meta. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, Ho Hooks was always Hooks was always meta to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hook City was always a meta. That's not that was that was never nothing new. Hook City was always meta, man. Always. This particular guy right here, this particular guy right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely, man. They got the, they got the hooks ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. Talking about, you know, one like one hit head bangers, bro. Talking about get rocked immediately. Pride Fighter, are you excited for um, um, the new Diablo? I don't know. Are you an ARPG fan? I see a lot of people on uh, Diablo. Um, I I think I think so to a certain degree, because they still haven't got it tweaked. Uh, I noticed that whenever I fought with a, a whenever I whenever I switched stance with the Orthodox Fighter. To a southpaw, to a southpaw stance, his hands were slow as hell. He couldn't, he couldn't punch. Um, that's when I did it offline. When I switched from orthodox to southpaw, his hands were, his hand speed was too slow. So, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, are, are they going to alter the hand speed? Are they going to? Are they gonna alter the hitbox? Cause when you hit a southpaw in the uh, in the back shoulder, you get no damage. You got to get the punch. It's got to go over his shoulder and hit him in the face. <clears throat> so I'm wondering, like, there's certain things that's a problem. Hitbox, um, hand speed, um, uh, just hit, just overall hit detection on a southpaw fighter is is not good overall hit detection is not good at all hit detection and uh, just uh just a link just attacking them i think i think fighters like that guy right there terrence bud crawford is going to be op as fuck because he's amp he's ambidextrous um guys that are guys that are even-handed are going to be super op So he knows what's up. <laughs> uh, he know he definitely knows what's up. <laughs> so this is gonna be one of those fights. Body on red. I'm about to start your stream up. Uh, you gonna you got the uh, you got the um uh, the Facebook stream going right? Give me a 
and stream you know, stream on Facebook. All right, bro. I got you. Uh, I got a like on there. I'm finna uh, go ahead, start it up, bro. I'm finna follow you. I'll be up in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know how this is gonna work. And then the muddy feet. I gotta fix the muddy feet. Oh, he rocks me. He rocks me. To the body. To the body rock I go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's got full body. I'm going here. He going body. I'm going here. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen here. See what's gonna happen here. Let's see if he see if I can win. Let's see if I can win being a head hunter. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? Oh no, he got me. See, let's see if I can win being a head hunter. Oh shit. Oh, I was trying to I was trying to take a knee. It wouldn't let me take a knee. I'm just out here, I'm just out here fooling around, Jay. Fooling around. We was both going to the body, then I switched up to the head, so I'm trying to see if I can win being a head hunter. We'll see. We'll see if I can head hunt him. Oh, and he got another knockdown on me. couldn't take a knee so I don't know man he's definitely got a huge lead on me right now the southpaw thing is a uh, it's a booger it's a booger I'm still trying to figure it out Damn, was that a power uppercut he just caught me with? I think that man just hit me with a power uppercut. Yo, who is this guy? Zombie. Zombie SP1. He's pretty decent. I don't remember his name. I'll fight him. Uh, I will fight him. Orthodox. See if I can. Uh, so I am not. A, I'm not normally a southpaw fighter. So I'm curious. He's he's pretty nice. I see I see exactly what it is bro I see exactly what it is oh I just sniffed it out bro I just sniffed it out Ooh, I just sniffed it out I see exactly what it is I just sniffed it out
me see if I can get Pride Fighter on here real quick. Let me pull up Pride Fighter. I got him up and going. Got Pride Fighter up and ready. He says he's starting soon. Pride Fighter starting soon. I see what's going on here. Let's see if I can make a comeback. Let's see if I can make a comeback. See if I can make a comeback, y'all. I think I can make a comeback. <laughs> it's close. It's close. I learned. I learned a little too fast. Too slow. Oh. Oh. I got the knee. I learned a little too slow. What I was supposed to do. I learned it too late. Let's see if I can get him. Let's see if I can sneak him. <laughs> what was that yo this guy this guy ain't no he's not no rookie bro he's this guy knows some stuff man this guy what little girl not right now hold on this guy knows a few things bro he knows a few things <laughs> he knows what's up, bro. This guy knows what's up. He's got He's got the sauce for this guy. He's got the sauce for this guy. He knows exactly what's up. What's he doing now? What's going on? What's he doing now? He's trying to he's trying to bait me into something. What he's trying to bait me into, I don't know. got me he got me oh I'm done bro I'm done obviously I had a pretty I had a pretty easy pattern he figured me out we figured out the pattern I like that bro hey little girl come here come here come here little girl
by you. I guess. All right, look, listen. Hmm? Br brush your teeth and wash your face, and there's your gummies right there. Oh. Don't get them until you brush your teeth and wash your face. Come on, go do that, and then oh. come on back and get your gummies. Okay. I like this strategy. Let me see here. I like this strategy on Sergio so and that's and that's another reason why I'm running Sergio right now I'm trying to see how other people deal with Sergio outside of myself how do they how do they stop him and uh, how did they stop Sergio Martinez and and you know what are their strategies I think that's, that's the best way to figure out a fighter to figure out a fighter is to be that fighter and and clearly you will you will run into whatever the meta is um, as you fight higher level fighters as that fighter you will that you will see how to deal with them so I wasn't able to figure it out by by myself fighting him I was not able to figure out Sergio <laughs> So I'm hoping that I'll run into some people that'll that'll kick my butt uh, at Sergio, and then I'll see it from the other side. Complete. All right, get it. Okay. All right, now now you said you're gonna be a good girl. I brought them gummies. Mhm. Mm okay, that's what I expect. I will. Says the only fight with Sergio at middleweight. Yeah, Sergio at middleweight. He's got that um those extra perks like the inside uh inside fighter and stuff like that. That's a very bad matchup. So here I am again against uh, Bud Crawford, which I said, but I've said Bud Crawford was gonna be meta um, versus Sergio. This is this is the guy. Bud Crawford is the guy that that will that will ultimately um, mess up Sergio. This is the guy right here, bro. Especially when stand switching comes out. This is it. Bud Crawford's a dude.
was such a delay in that counter punch. Like, what in the hell, bro? It was like a 20 second counter punch. You know, dealing with Sergio right here. You just gotta you just gotta manage this guy. He's he's a real menace if you if you just manage him. Like I've been I've been trying to abuse him and not really manage him. So once I get to the uh, the management state, he's really gonna be something to deal, you know, he's really gonna be a problem. Uh, yesterday and today I've been trying to abuse him yesterday and this morning uh, I've only been on for a little bit but I've been on this abu abusive um, usage of Sergio to see you know what, what what will work and what won't work you know that's usually how I start out with fighters like what you know what's abuse you know that's that's what you're gonna run into other players abusing a situation um, you know, AKA spam, meta, whatever, you're gonna run into abuse. So you gotta know, you know, what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. How to, how to stop being abused. It's like a really bad relationship. <laughs> So this guy is fighting me. He's fighting me more like I used to fight um, against the Southpaw. He's absolutely scared of my left hand. And he should be. That's the way he's fighting me right now. He's, he's worried about my left hand. And I can't blame him. My biggest problem with fighting southpaw right now is I gotta remember to to throw. I'm throwing a lot of right jabs, and I gotta remember to go left to uh, you know not not wear out my arm fatigue. That's my biggest problem with uh, southpaw at the moment is arm fatigue because I'm I'm not my brain is not switching up hands for whatever reasons. Nice counter. So this is the way this guy's fighting me. 
This is absolutely this is absolutely the wrong way to fight to fight Sergio the way he's fighting me um, and that's probably what I was doing this is his the way his Crawford is fighting me is the absolute wrong way he's um he's not aggressive enough he's not throwing enough punches He's trying to be pretty methodical about it, but he's just not throwing enough punches. And he's clearly not, he's clearly having difficulty with the southpaw. He's attempting to just hit me all on, on my right side. He doesn't, he doesn't want to come inside to the left at all because he doesn't know how. He knows, he knows it's going to miss over and over. So this is a game flaw. He knows that that, going into the uh into my left is a bad situation so he's trying to win left side only and this is the wrong way to fight Sergio He's way more active all of a sudden. Way more active, which is a good thing. For him, not not for me, it's a good thing for him. How do you beat an aggressive Sergio that pushes forward? I don't think there's a way. <laughs> uh, what's up, Zay? Um, Okay, Zay. So, for the for the sake for the sake of argument and for the sake of sauce and things like that, I believe Sergio should be a band fighter all the way around. And I think that um, I think that uh, Still City they need to fix this guy. But for the for the sake of uh, you know just spilling the beans, Sergio has some telltale signs. Um, he has some signs of how to beat him. Um. But it's really hard to incorporate into a fight. Really hard to incorporate. Now, I know what type of fighter I am. But the type of fighter that I am is not the type of fighter that you might typically see all the time. You know, what I do and what everybody else does is completely different. But the signs, the signs are all the same. Um, so one telltale sign that I've, that I've noticed with Sergio, for one, you can't beat him on, on his right side. If you're just going to beat him with one hand, you've already lost. You can't beat him with one hand. That's what I tried to do. I tried to beat Sergio with my left hand only, and it ain't going to work. So there's something I just learned fighting Sergio. You ready, Zay? You ready for the sauce, bro? All right, here's the sauce. If you're paying attention to me fight, when I throw my left hand which is my power hand, my my inside hand. When Sergio throws his left hand, that's when you're supposed to attack him with your right hand. So you see, you really need to be defensive against Sergio. You need to you need to react. The best thing the best thing that I see that you could do against him if the Sergio is very offensive. You need to you need to be defensive. You need to um 
you need to react to Sergio. You should not attack Sergio. You should respond to him attacking you. So if Sergio throws a left hand, that is the perfect opportunity to hit him with your right hand if you're an orthodox fighter. If he throws his left, that's when you strike back with your right. But there could there all types of things could happen. This Sergio could be a back foot Sergio. If he's if he's running a like if he's pressing forward and then running away. Yeah, so if he presses forward and he and he throws that that right there, if he throws that inside, those left punches, that's when you attack him. See how he hit me in the belly? That's when you attack Sergio. Anytime he throws his left hand, that's when he turns when he turns back into an orthodox fighter. If he throw if he's throwing his right hand, if he's throwing his right hand, like like I'm doing right now, I'm jabbing with the right, I'm jabbing with the right. If he's throwing his right hand, don't attack. Don't attack at all if he's throwing if he's throwing right hands, that jab. Don't attack. But as soon as he comes in with the right hand right there, I mean with the left hand, this is my this is Sergio's left hand. Attack him. Attack him when he throws his left hand. If he's pressing you and he throws the left hand, that's when you're supposed to beat the brakes off of him. See, I got the belly shot with the left hand. You su you supposed to go straight ape shit if you see Sergio throw that left hand. Right there. I got him in the body with the left hand. You're supposed to you're supposed to respond. As long as I'm jabbing you with the right, stay stay defensive. As soon as he comes in like that, you're supposed to attack. The only problem is that Sergio is hella fast. He's hella fast and he can get away with shit like this. He can just hit you and back off. He can hit you and back off. But that's the only thing that I can tell so far is that if he throws that le if he throws that left hand that's when he's most vulnerable when he throws his left hand. So I'm most vulnerable when I throw my left hand. Seeing as I'm on the I'm on the blue side right now. I'm on the blue side right now, so I'm I'm most vulnerable. If if I walk, let me see. If I'm walking uh up mat, basically, if I go up mat, that's the time to attack me. If I'm going up mat. If I'm coming down mat, I think Sergio's still broken. So anytime you see Sergio move his feet to go up mat, that's the time to attack. Look for the left hand and attack him when his feet goes up mat. If he's on the other side, if he's on red side, if he's going down mat, that would be the time to attack him. And this is really weird because Sergio, like a southpaw has really weird foot movement. So he's really hard to track because his back foot moves really weird. So if you see me go up mat, and why why I say up mat? If you see me walk up mat, that's literally like I'm trying to throw that left hand punch. If I go up mat, I'm trying to throw my left hand. So that's why I'm vulnerable walking up mat. So whether I throw my left hand or not, if I walk up mat, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to throw the left hand. So that's something that I noticed with this guy so far. Because I've been trying to figure out how to how to land punches on him because southpaws are broken as far as 
Thank you for the follow, um, S2S Faded. Because he's so broken as far as like hit, hit detection. I've been trying to figure out how can you tell when you're supposed to hit him. Back in my day, Scorpion was the DJ, was the stepping stone for. Back in my day, Scorpion was the stepping stone for DGL. Everyone fought him for their debut. So who's the stepping stone now? Who fought? Who fights? Who fights for the debut? I didn't even know there was a, a debut for uh, for DGO. Is that a person's name or are you just saying sheet? I'm just saying she I want to know says uh, you want to know say no but you think I'm the stepping stone now you're the stepping stone now is that what you're trying to tell me you're the person that everybody should debut against Yeah, this southpaw stuff is very, very, very weird. Um, I beat Cody in a 1v1. Nah, me and Cody never fought. But I did beat the person that held the DGL crown. That was Fight Night's Finest. I beat Fight Night's Finest. On Friday. So if you watch Cody's DGL uh, stream from Friday, you will see that... I gave Fight Night's Finest the business. The business. No cap. I did it as I was playing Sugar Ray Leonard, I believe. I gave him the business. I think it was Sugar Ray Leonard versus Terrence Bud, Bud Crawford. Yeah, uh, there's definitely some flaws and some some weakness in Sergio, but man, you really you really have to know how to defeat a southpaw fighter for it for it to for it to work. There's a certain there's a certain fight style. There's a certain style you have to perform to beat us to beat a southpaw, and. I, I don't fight like every single southpaw. Most people fight on their back foot, which I think would be even harder to deal with Sergio um, fighting on his back foot. You know, like, like you said, most uh, defensive Sergios, he's a he's a problem because his hands are really fast, and he could kind of pick you apart off the back foot.
I mean, you could basically, like, you could basically go into fighting Sergio and just think, like, I don't know, every time he throws, like, a couple of left, a couple of right hands, you could just safely assume that he's about to throw a right so, you know, he, he doesn't run into arm fatigue. And you could probably kind of time him. But that depends on if he's not if he's not a back foot Sergio. There's a lot of things interesting about a southpaw fighter. Like, there's some interesting stuff on how on how this uh, matchup works. the pacing of this matchup. I think the Southpaw is only, at this point, just me playing with him. I mean, I am up against a Bud Crawford, which has the highest defense in the freaking game, but I think he's only as, he's only as strong as you allow him to be. Like as much, he, Sergio is only, only as strong as you allow him to. Uh, the the engagements that you put in, like if you continue to press Sergio, um, you could effectively make him strong. I guess if you don't, if you keep pressing him and you don't know how to defeat him. Maybe it could be a problem. Like his back foot jab is stupid. Like look at that. Nobody should be able to jab like that. Nobody should be able to jab like that. That's a dumb jab. There's certain things that is just like completely fucking broken. Like this Crawford knows what's up, man. Like he's <clears throat> this Crawford uh started to see something in this fight. He's definitely at first he didn't see it but he picked up on something and I'm not quite sure what it is that he's that he's starting to see obviously he's been trying to beat me uh, with the left hand he's been trying to do that since the beginning of the fight fresh off the job yo what's up Duke Duke I'm out here trying to I'm trying to dissect this Sergio shit bro I'm out here trying to dissect I gotta figure out what's the secret sauce with this guy. Yeah, Chizo, the Chizo Martinez, the Spanish cheese. Is it government cheese? Yo, what's up, Blunted? I've I've definitely found out some things about about Sergio since I since I played him this morning. I've learned a few things. Uh, 
Oh man, absolutely. The only thing bad about this Sunday is I gotta go back to work. <laughs> gotta go back to work tonight. Glucose needs a spar. Thank you. Mm hmm. Oh, you better. Thank Glucose you. needs a spar as well if not available in a bit. And I got my notes and I just washed it. Yes, baby. It was Smith, Smith, Smith. Socks. I will. I'm going I'm to go put on some socks. Um. Yeah, man. Let me see if I, uh. I thought I had my Discord open. I thought I had it on. Oh, I just don't have my sound on. So yeah, now I got my Discord on. There we go. see here you said he's in the spar chat oh yeah yeah this, this says uh, I want to get some sparring done an hour or two okay I'll do <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I just I uh, responded in the uh, in the thing said I'll be here <clears throat> cuz um I've been I've been trying to peep like I've been trying to peep out <clears throat> what what makes this guy so this uh Southpaw so broken. And I definitely learned something fighting as him cuz I was like I can't figure it out fighting him. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I am Sergio then uh the people if i run into some high level fighters they're they're gonna have to expose the secret sauce you know i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep fighting at them and uh when i get my ass whooped i'm gonna be analyzing why i got my ass whooped <laughs> so trust me i'm paying attention and uh and one thing i noticed surprisingly one thing that i noticed um uh, is that he's he's most vulnerable when he throws his left hand when he when he throw the when he throws his knockout punch that's when he's most vulnerable and i was i was just thinking to myself like huh <laughs> like, what you want me to do about that <laughs> that's what that's the first thing that went through my mind like huh <laughs> and uh i basically you so it looks like you're supposed to fight this guy you know um now this is the thing this is a problem i'm playing sergio now not every sergio you're gonna run into is gonna fight like me so that's the biggest problem i'm learning like the holes in his game but i think most sergios are are back foot sergios and that's a that's the problem right there but i see that he's um he's most vulnerable if you see him walk if you see him walking up the mat which is weird i never i never thought that i thought if he was walking up the mat um that's when um that's when you don't want to attack him but it's actually when you do want to attack him i had it backwards uh if he's blue side and he walks up mat he's vulnerable if he's red side and he walks down mat he's vulnerable um quite quite strange so that that right there is a big uh a big help i might maybe with that information alone i might be able to beat him with a uh, sugar ray leonard um 
His his back foot jab is retarded, bro. <laughs> That's retarded. Nobody should be able to jab that fast. Um Yeah, so basically if he throws a left, he's vulnerable. That base when I say vulnerable, that means um it opens his hit his hitbox. Because there's a problem, you know, with with tracking him and being able to land punches with your uh with your right hand. So if he's walking up, Matt, um, that's when your right hand will work. If you see him walk up, Matt, from the blue side or down, Matt, from the red side, your right hand will work. Uh, and also, if you ever see him throw his left hand, then he's also, at that point, um, his hitbox is open to where you can attack him. Because that's, that's the problem is his... his um, Fighting, uh, I don't know what you're gonna call this. His character, his character model, is is kind of it's kind of jacked up because you know he's southpaw, so he his back uh kind of gets into the fight, and anytime you hit a character in the back, it doesn't count as damage. <clears throat> so um, that's what's that that particularly that one thing is what what breaks uh, his hitbox is because he puts his back into the fight and if that alone if uh if steel city would just change the damage and just be like yo if you hit this guy anywhere on on his front or his back that um that would help things out tremendously <laughs> it'd be nice I think that's why they went they went so um, damage heavy on hooks. Um, Charlie, I think that's why they went so damage uh, so damage heavy on hooks is because um, hooks obviously is a uh, um. You're only going to throw a hook to the head. I mean, they do have body hooks, but you generally only throw on the hook to the head. So that's to um, to counteract, um, to give you like a high percentage damage to the head versus um, nerfing some of the damage to the body to kind of equal out damage. Um, but I think if you gave if you gave stamina damage to the head, then everybody would just like head hunting is already is already a big deal now that they. They gave the hook damage out. Um, I think it would be like nobody would throw a body shot at all if they could get every if they could get everything they needed out of the headshot. Like, why would you throw a body shot at all? It would just it would just turn into you know like MMA like stand up striking. Like you might it might as well be bare knuckle. Think, and that's why um you know I think you were in the in the meeting that we had you know like right at the end and why I said um right before I left I was like I think you should you should not regulate body spam at all if if there's if nobody can can clearly tell me what body spam is if you if you're gonna listen to crying it's not gonna work you, if there's not a, a clear language this is like Des Bryant in the catch if you can't tell me what a catch is, you know what I'm saying? If 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 people universally can't tell you what a catch is, then it's always going to be a problem. You know, to me a catch is if if something is in the air and it stops in your hands and you and you have possession of it, you have caught it. <laughs> if you have enough possession of it that you could hold it and give it to somebody else you have you have caught that object whether it be a football or not
to me also. <laughs> the pretty Okay. All right. Okay. And and that's very loosely um that's that's very loosely interpret interpreted. So what I would so to take that that sentence that you just read a little bit further, how I interpret sta uh, spamming is if you do something to the if you do the same action in in succession until the game tells you you can't do it anymore, that is spamming. If you if you continue to throw lead bodies until you run out of a stamina bar and you cannot throw another punch and and when your stamina bar comes back up you repeat the same action that is spammy yeah yeah like if, if you go full bar back off let your bar uh heal back up and then you go full bar again i mean goddamn like what 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 else do we need to say here I think full bar the first time is uh is enough, but if you do full bar twice, I mean you who you can't excuse it. You can't even tell you can't even tell your mama you ain't spamming if you go full bar twice. Come on now. It's in to me. It's not even. It's not even if you just do one hand uh, until you get arm fatigue in one hand. It's if if you go left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right until your bar is empty, bro. Use the spammer right, right then and there, dead on the spot. Use the spammer. Like not only, not only like this is what I'm trying to say. Not only was it egregious enough that you that you did. Uh, that you got one arm tired you went to the other arm got it tired and then went back to the to the to the original arm like you intentionally uh broke the game mechanics the arm fatigue and spam the entire bar like that's that's as intentional and as as blatant as it gets like like I don't, um, I don't like, cause when when I see, let's say spam, like if you throw three, everyone was quoting you in their savage shadow last night. And they was quoting me, uh, if if uh if you throw three lead body hooks in a row. Um, I don't believe that that's spam. Like I mean, in in succession, you, if you're just standing right in front of somebody and you just boom, 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 three lead body hooks. That's not spam. But if you if you're on top of somebody and you lead body hook with the with the right hand or with the left hand three times and then you switch to the right hand three times and then back to the left hand, bro, that's spam. <laughs> that's it, bro. I can't I can't believe the 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 a lot of people are quoting me man i cannot believe that shit is hilarious like everywhere i go i go into a channel or i go into a room and people are saying this shit that i'm saying <laughs> they'll be like yo that guy hook city you can't catch moby dick with hey they love that one the same girl that called you call me <laughs> i literally just made that shit up literally Let me go ahead and let this Bud Crawford kill me, man. It's over with. He says, Mia Angles will surprise everyone new song. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why I said that shit. I was just thinking about, you know, the, you know, 
you know, the the story of Moby Dick, you know what I'm saying? Like this giant ass whale and some people on a boat trying to catch a giant whale. Like that's just crazy. You just it just ain't gonna happen, right? Have you seen like you you've been to like the aquariums and things like that and they show you how big the fishes are and they show you how big the boats are, like naval boats next to fishes and people and shit like that, and you're just like, Ain't no fucking way. You you can't catch a fish that big if that's like that's like an ant trying to catch me. An ant cannot catch a human. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I I remember I remember how how I came up with the uh, the same girl that called you called me because I was fighting zips. I was in the I was in the middle of a fight with zips, and uh, and he and he surprised me with the right hand straight. So. Uh, I, w- I was following him. He was going up Matt. I remember it like it was yesterday. He was walking up Matt on the blue side. I was on the red side. And all of a sudden, he comes out with the right hand straight. Boom! Rocks the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck? So then, I peeped it right then and there. I was paying attention to exactly what he did. So, I waited like, you know, a few more transactions later. We're walking down Matt. I boom throw the same punch, and I said the same. I said I said the same girl that called you called me. I said dial up, dial it back up. <laughs> I said I bet you won't throw that punch again. So that's how that's how that those two came about. Um, Obviously, a, a, pol- a polar bear with red hair is a, a, a Canelo reference, you know, because he's got the. Yeah, yeah, I, I already joined it. Uh, I, I joined that uh, on the Discord and everything. I did my app and all that. Uh, and obviously, the polar bear with red hair is is Canelo, and the Mexican the Mexican shark is you know Canelo reference because that's who I was using at the time, and uh, and the bear claw because Canelo's got that. That one hit, that one hit uh, punch, you know, he can just hit you with the right hook at any time and kill you. <laughs> yeah, the polar bear. <laughs> the deep water one, the deep water one came from uh, when I first started playing the game and uh, I was learning how to like um, use the use the lead body punch and things like that and, and work their stamina down. I take them out in like the tenth round. Basically, that one that one came from um, fighting fighters like Bud Crawford that they, they lose their uh, their stamina or whatever after the eighth round they get weak. So I said I'm gonna take them out to the deep water, and I said I hope your mama took you to the YMCA. Cause someone asked how you, how your fight went, then it just went up from there. <laughs> They asked how my fight went. Well, I, I won one and I lost the other. You know what I'm saying? And I, I lost to a freaking Sergio Martinez because I just don't. I at the time I didn't comprehend how to fight Sergio Martinez, but I'm learning now. I'm I'm learning how to fight Sergio. Um, uh, by watching other people fight Sergio, I'm learning what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, man, I need I, I wasn't getting enough tape, you know, because I don't every fight I don't go up against the Sergio. So I was like, well, how could how could I go up against the Sergio? Well, I got to be Sergio and then I could see every fight. Um, what's he say right here? He says, uh, Reek beat Moisty, too. It was a good ass fight. And you were supposed to fight Moisty yesterday, too. Yeah, I, I um. I had a conversation with Dre and uh and uh yeah, I'm not fighting Moisty unless um it's gonna be in a, a WECB fight. That's basically what it um what the conversation went as. I'm not gonna fight uh Moisty unless it's a uh a, a ranked fight, a sanctioned fight in one of the boxing clubs that I fight in. Not not a uh not a A custom match I'm not gonna fight Moise in a custom match it's got to be a ranked fight in the WECB
<laughs> Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. So, that's funny. Reek beat Moisty. That's hello. That's hello out there, bro. Reek got Moisty, huh? What did the, what did the fight go like? What who uh who they pick? Who was Reek using and who was uh who was Moisty using? That's that's hella funny because because Moisty show did come. Reek had Sugar Ray and Moisty had Sergio. Oh my God, I gotta see the fight. Cause that that was funny as hell, bro. Because Moisty came up in here talking about how how, how I haven't whooped him, and you know I, you know what I did. I said I said, well, well Slayer beat uh beat your boy ass. He beat uh Joel Bass. So so you ain't nothing. Whether I could beat you or not, uh, uh Slayer Slayer on top of you and Joel. And then, and now and now and now, uh, if if you if you really throw it in there. It is, I guess it's Slayer, Job, Reek, and then Moisty. So Moisty, you ain't even number two to Job. You know what I'm saying? Because Reek whooped your ass. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not tripping about none of that. I'm not tripping about none of that at all. I just wish I had to beat Reek so that now that Reek beat Moisty, I could be like, well, shit, I beat Reek, and you, <laughs> you didn't. Even, I wish I had to beat Reek. <laughs> I had I had Reek on the back foot, but I did not win. And 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 that's when I was a Canelo fighter. Yeah, that's when I was. Now I, I Reek probably is really nice, man. Reek had the I'm gonna tell you, Reek had Reek had the sauce before I had the sauce. He knew he knew the matchup. Um, that Canelo was not gonna take out um, Sugar Ray Leonard, and at the time when I fought him, I did not know that. But Reek was already ahead of the game. Yeah, I know. I know that now, <laughs> cause I, cause, yeah, cause I, cause Canelo's gonna get, he's gonna get whooped off the back foot every time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he it ain't gonna happen, bro. Wait, I'm talking about I was I was working my ass off, and that and that's kind of the same thing that I feel about uh Sergio here. I was fighting Sergio with uh with Sugar Ray Leonard, and I was like, man, I'm working I'm working really hard, and this Sergio is not is not working as hard as me. Like I'm doing, I'm putting in you know a hundred percent effort, and he's putting in about fifty percent in comparison to what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like. I feel like I have I have to be twice the fighter that the Sergio has to be to beat Sergio. So I'm like, nah, that's not I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? So those type of matchups I don't like. Job and his buddy complain so badly when Slayer won and then muted Slayer from the Discord. <laughs> Absolutely. I know I know I know what happened. I know all about it, Goose. I I didn't hear I didn't heard a whole bunch of bullshit. You know, I didn't hear I didn't hear some bullshit, Goose. So that's why I'm not tripping about about cer certain top level players. That uh, if you personally ask my opinion, they are not top level players, bro. I did I like I said like I always say, I dare anybody to get in the ring with me as an orthodox fighter anybody and get especially phone booth for you you're not gonna give me phone booth orthodox ain't gonna happen um you might get me off you might get me off the back foot you're more than likely you'll get me if you go southpaw but if you go orthodox orthodox versus orthodox in the phone booth man i will kill you i will murder you that is my strength i will murder you 
in the phone booth or with the docs. You might as well stay at home. Don't even don't even open your game. Don't don't open the game client. You might as well you might as well log off. If you get in the phone booth versus me, I will murder you. <laughs> you might as well get a cell phone. Hey, you get in the phone booth. <laughs> I get that now. That's a funny joke. That's a funny joke. <laughs> that one went over my head. <laughs> Cyrus said, might as well get a cell phone. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Oh, man, they don't have phone booths no more. He said, you might as well get a cell phone. Yeah, you, you might as well. <laughs> I get what you did right there. That's good. <laughs> Cyrus the virus. I said if you get in the phone booth with me, you might as well log off. And he said you might as well get a cell phone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you might. <laughs> that's that's your only hope having a cell phone. So you ain't got no cord. So maybe you could beat me. You could beat me uh wireless. You know what I'm saying? You could beat me mobile. That's about the only way you're going to beat me is mobile. Because you, you ain't going to beat me in no phone booth. <clears throat> and I, uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of figuring Sergio out. But yeah, man, like, I, I do. <laughs> he said, I'm so afraid of your phone booth. I just send a text. <laughs> what? What what my fight style with what I what, what how I fight and what I know about the game like there's there's two things that bother me. Two things that bother me the most is a southpaw fighter, and like is there's a certain combination there's certain things southpaw and and lightning hands is broken as hell. Both of those things are super broken. They can be defeated, but they're but they're hella broken. And then secondly. A fighter that fights off the back foot. If you gonna run from me, man, that's some bullshit. That's something that all those things need to be addressed in the game. If you if fighting off the back foot, lightning hands and southpaw, all that shit needs to be addressed because they are they are broken as fuck. Um. So all I can think of. The one thing that I can't fix is I can't fix somebody fighting off the back foot. I can't fix that. Outside of that, um, the only way I can address fighting a southpaw is to be a southpaw. And uh, lightning hands, lightning hands is what it is. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Uh, I can defeat lightning hands. You just have to have patience when you fight somebody with lightning hands. You got to have patience. Um, but yeah, southpaw and, and back foot fighting, man, that shit don't go together, bro. Southpaw and back foot is some bullshit. Yeah, I'm on a Sergio grind, bro. I'm on a Sergio grind because I'll be damned if I, if I lose to another Sergio. I'll be damned if I lose to another Sergio, bro. That shit is whack. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's. Yeah, all that. Yeah, once the game is complete and they give me more tools, oh my goodness, I'll be a beast because I know how to use my tools. But the prop, the problem, well, certain, certain shit, like I said, I don't know if they're going to fix it. Certain things like, okay, they're going to, they're going to have stance, stance switching and things like that. But, but that like just just stand switching alone won't fix some of the problems. Like they're gonna have to add more shit to it. So I think the biggest thing is is if they ever let if they ever put fatigue in the legs, if they ever if they ever put it in a game where you can't where you at some point in time when you get injured you can't run. I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do, bro. I'm gonna go back to a full time. Canelo and I'm gonna beat the brakes off of everybody in my way, bro. Full time Canelo. 
I'm beating the brakes off you. I wish you would fuck with Canelo. And don't put Tyson in the game. Don't put don't put nobody with like like monstrous power. Oh, it's over with, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying like, or Holyfield. You know what I'm saying? Like Tyson Holyfield. Don't put don't put those two guys in the game, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat you alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat you alive, bro. I'm gonna tear you up. Like there's certain. Nothing wrong with it. Yet. I ha I have no Yeah, I have no problem with outside fighters. I really don't. The only problem I have is the outside fighter don't get tired. He got to get tired. If he get tired, I'm gonna handle him. He can, he can stay he don't even have to establish inside. He can stay outside all day long. I'm gonna bust him in his head. He going to get tired and then I'm gonna kill him. Because another thing, I don't think cutting off the ring in this game is very effective. Like, you can cut off the ring, but you could still get out of it. Like, if they had a mechanic to where you could really just, like, push somebody into the corner or something like that and tee off on them. Like, like, how, like how Bud Crawford pushed Porter into the corner. If they had a mechanic where they could, like, stick you in the corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. F Yes, yeah, it's offline, but if, if they did that, oh my, oh my goodness, bro. You, you know, you know me, bro. Phone booth king. I'm going to get you in that corner, <laughs> and I'm going to tee off on you, bro. I'm going head, body, head. I'm going left head, uh, right body, left body, right head. I'm, I'm piecing up all your shit, center body, center face. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking you up, bro. Man, let me get, uh, I should have uh, read, let me get caught up on the text, man. Y'all been saying some good shit up in here in the chat, and, I, and I've been missing it. I don't care about this dude beating me up. I don't care about this fight. It's a quick match. Uh, what did it say? Let me see. Let me go up here. I missed, like, fucking 10 sentences and shit. Uh, yeah, I'm on the grind. Keep the counters. I like y'all running from, bro. I don't like running. Getting out of the range, the arms, you counter. I'm really hoping to get rid of the uh, damage, get rid of the section damage on the head. Oh, yeah, the section damage, that's a problem. I think they need to take the center face out and just have left, right side of the face down to nine. Uh, you chase me well, I pepper you. They, they data mine Tyson being in the game, I think. They won't announce it till release hype. I think you're gonna have to buy Tyson Cyrus. I think he's gonna be a character that you gotta spend money on, like a uh, like a fight pass. He'll be like ten bucks or something like that, ten or fifteen bucks a season pass. I think they're gonna have a lot of fighters come out in the season pass. Uh, it if you don't chase, that's fine. Stam drain from running. Definitely need stam drain from running. Um, the push is on par. Man, shut up, Joe. The push is on par. Say, and the problem, man. Thanks for coming. Damn near fight of the night. <laughs> yeah, man. I was trying. I was trying my heart out, Cyrus, but I, I didn't. I had no idea how to beat um uh, Sergio. I'm still trying to formulate a a strategy on how to beat Sergio without being Sergio. Um. Try to go for it, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, yeah, 
I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to have a you know a good a good full a good foolproof plan on how to beat Sergio without being him man and it's like I, I think the biggest part of it is that these Sergio's fight on a back foot and that's a fucking problem he's already a problem because he's southpaw and then they fight on the back foot I think the, I think the only fighters in the game that are that are really broken is like I said, so Southpaw and Lightning Hands. Southpaw is broken because the hitbox in the game is broken. Lightning Hands, and, they, and that could easily be fixed. You could fix the hitbox in this game by allowing damage to be done uh, if you hit a Southpaw in the back, because when you're fighting a Southpaw. All the southpaws they have a weird stance and they turn like this. And if you if you allow damage on the back, then hitbox problem solved. If you allow them to get damaged in the back, but if if you're if you're hitting them in the back and you say no, no damage and you got to hit them in the front or whatever, the, their hitbox is completely broken. Um, and like lightning hands, bro. Obviously, any fighter. Um, um, fighters with hand speed have the advantage um, obviously if somebody's got super hand speed uh, you know the slow hand should have power but it doesn't quite it doesn't quite translate into that it really just translates into you just getting getting beat the fuck up that's what it translates into <laughs> Yeah, and what's up with the trait system, man? Like, certain fighters, some fighters have, you know, like, six traits, and other fighters only have one trait or two traits. Like, is there going to be some type of trait trait balancer or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, a couple fighters with zero traits. Like, if you're not gonna give them traits, then you gotta bump up their their overall stats or something. Like, what what's up with that? Damn, he got me with the uppercut. Yeah, now he had eighty. I seen they bumped him up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like it. That's what I'm thinking. You can't be a ninety fighter with six traits, and then you got. A 70 fighter with no traits that doesn't make any sense like like at least give like give them equal the traits don't have to be as good but like give them give them something goddamn right you can't write a, a little one sentence you know the do, does good when you know throwing uppercuts does good when when weaving like give them something give them slip give them increased foot movement Yeah, yeah, has a great jab, has a, you know, anything. Jab quickness increased, <laughs> you know? Right straight quickness in increased, give them something. Increased taunt speed. <laughs> Damn. Took that boy to Hook City. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, this guy's walking really funny. It's going to cause him to get knocked out because of the way he's walking. <clears throat> See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? He got knocked out because of the way he was walking. He wasn't guarding his head, and then he was his feet movement was really weird. And I picked up on it immediately. I was like, yo, what's up with his feet going? Like, his feet... I don't I don't understand why he was walking that way. <clears throat> Trust me guys, you can tell when somebody can't fight. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, you could tell when somebody can't fight. I seen it immediately. I was like, yo, what's up with his feet movement? And then bop 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 KO. Bop 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 KO. <laughs> You seen that, right, Zay? Did you see it, Zay? Right when I KO'd that dude, I was like, yo, what's up with his feet? He was just like, he was just walking with his hands down. And I'm like, I could I could peep the way that he was moving on the mat with his hands down. I'm like, all right, let me just KO this kid real fast. Like, what's going on here? And then people and people will be quick to say that that's like hook spamming or you was lead body uppercut spamming or something like that. I'll be like, no, you have no defense. You were not defending yourself. What are you talking about? That guy straight up was walking and not defending himself. That was insane. I, I literally just noticed it like mid fight. I'm like, why is he walking? insane like the pizza man must have been at the door or some shit like that like he was playing one-handed or something somebody knocked on the door or whatever and i just knocked them out Yo Zay, how did you do versus Reek, man? I heard, I heard, uh, I'm, I don't know if you won or not, but I guess I'm assuming not. I don't know. <laughs> I heard Reek beat beat Job. Oh yeah, I never got to fight again. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I heard Reek. He couldn't fix his PC. Okay, yeah, I heard Reek beat Job last night. So. And that, that I want to go back and watch that fight. I was trying to. Um, I actually got home from uh, being on a dinner date with my wife, and I was trying to uh, try to go to the Savage Boxing League to see that fight. But um, when I rolled back the the time, um, the tape, the tape that I saw didn't end with the um, with Reek versus a uh, Job. It was like still mid it was mid uh it was mid of their card it wasn't at the end of the card so i was like maybe i clicked on the wrong tape um because i i want to i want to see that uh sugar ray versus uh <laughs> sugar ray versus sergio He was he was up one point on you, Zay. He was winning with one round. Oh, at three three a.m. or three win. So you ended like at three. I I looked at it, bro. I don't know, man. It, it kind of like it looks fun, but it also looks cheesy. Like, yeah, man. It look it look cheesy, bro. That's that's the part where I'm like, nah. I don't think I could be. I could do it. Like, like there ain't. There's no. There's not gonna be no competitive fucking wrestling, right? Like, <laughs> wrestling's already cheese to begin with. <laughs> So I don't I don't think I'll spend my money. Maybe Diablo. 
Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Hardy. I never liked the Hardy brothers when they, especially when they first came out. I didn't really care. Later on, after I stopped watching boxing, and I guess they became they became superstars or whatever, but I never really cared for the Hardy brothers. They was definitely like they was like a they was like Dalton Smith. They was level seventy nine. Like they was low tier, almost mid tier. <laughs> yeah, they was they was kind of just like uh you know Booker T and his his brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the book. What, what did he have a brother? The Booker brothers at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, but his brother, st I guess both of the brothers stopped fighting. Booker T brother stopped fighting, and didn't the Hardy brother stop fighting? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it was all right. Uh, I, I, I stopped. They said, now nah, the Hardy still wrestle. Jeff and Matt both still around. Okay. I thought one of them kind of. Yeah, I thought one of them had fell off. Yeah. Oh my shit! I don't know about that. Like, <laughs> I said, I was I was never really into them like that. When they first came out, they just they wasn't my type of fighters. I know every everybody's got to go through like they little. They little superstar uh, haze or whatever, like they gotta fight, you know. They gotta put in the work before they, you know, make it big time. You know, it it was like that with the the only I think like the only fight I ever seen just come in and just like go crazy with Stone Cold Steve Austin. But he, yeah, The Rock had a he had a long like amateur you know run, you know the 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 Brahma Bull, you know, before he became The Rock. He was Rocky Maivia. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was a bum. Let's talk Logan Paul. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to talk about Logan Paul at all. That dude's that dude's lesser than than Jeff Hardy. He's lesser than the Hardy brothers. I don't want to talk about that at all. Let's talk. What's 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 the nation of domination? That sounds like some wrestling bullshit. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What does that allude to? That's like it sounds like some NWO type shit, like like Razor Ramon and and uh uh what was it like? I think it was Razor Ramon and uh the Hulk and uh who who was in the NWO? Razor Ramon Hulk uh. It was a, it was an all black WWE stable. That was the Rock stable. Farco, Godfather, Mark Henry. Oh, Mark Henry in there too. I haven't heard that name in a long ass time. Mark Henry. <laughs> sexual chocolate <laughs> oh man I remember that I remember that that shit is hilarious bro wrestling has like the goofiest shit in it like, like you know how I be saying crazy stuff like that's wrestling bro just people just coming out saying crazy stuff those storylines that they have yeah, they're they wild. Wow. 
Nah, the gas station quarter store? Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a Stone Cold storyline. That was that was one of my favorite wrestlers, man. Uh, I mean, at the at the end of me watching wrestling after Stone Cold when he got hurt, I was done with wrestling. But it, yeah, yeah, it was back, neck, all types of shit. But a, after yeah, before him, before the end, you know, I used to I used to like uh, uh what's his name? Uh, I used to like Bret Hart. The Heartbreak Kid. I used to like Bret Hart, man. I like the. Uh, I like you know Shawn, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Shawn Michaels, a Heartbreak Kid. Uh, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. I used to like. Uh, man, it's been a while. Uh, Got to go back to work. Catch you guys later. All right, Hybrid Wayne. Yes, yeah, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. In fact, I I seen a guy. I seen a guy. I was at work. I was driving a truck, and I came across a kid that looked like Shawn Michaels. And I was like, I was like, yo, man, you look, you look just like Shawn Michaels. And he was like, who is that? I was like, oh my god, I'm old as fuck. This dude was like, he was probably like 20, and he didn't know who Shawn Michaels was. And I was like, well, if you if you Google search him, not the old Shawn Michaels, the young Shawn Michaels with the long hair, not the not the old Shawn Michaels, because you're young. So maybe you'll see yourself in the young Shawn Michaels, man. That shit was hilar was hilarious. Um. I like some Shawn Michaels back in the day, man. Um, and, and man, who who didn't like Undertaker back in those days? Either that's when Undertaker and uh, right when Kane first first started, when nobody had even seen Kane's face. If you didn't like the Undertaker back in the day, I don't know, you wasn't watching wrestling, bro. Undertaker used to be live when he was young. And if you ain't like Undertaker and Gravedigger as a kid, bro, you you had a fucked up childhood. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about Gravedigger the monster truck. <laughs> if you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you didn't like those things, like man, what's wrong with you? Yeah, you don't like Gravedigger and, and, and fucking. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> That was the shit, man. I had so many Gravedigger toys and shit. I'd just be flipping my Gravedigger monster truck toy, just flipping it for no damn reason. <laughs> yeah. And I, I liked Razor Ramon. Um, I like and Ra Razor Ramon was always like a, a B tier, you know, like a mid '80s fighter or whatever. But I, I used to like Razor Ramon. I just liked his style. Uh, Razor Ramon and uh, I was never really a fan of like the the Big Show. Um, who was the other guy? Uh, was it Steve Nash? I think that's his name. He was he was like the Big Show, but just a little smaller. <laughs> He was a small show. <laughs> Ain't that his name? I think his name was Steve was Nash or something like that. Steve <laughs> Steve Nash plays basketball. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, Kevin Nash. That's his name. Kevin Nash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I knew his name was Nash. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know who Steve Nash is. I know the Steve Nash is the Phoenix ones. <laughs> Yo, yo, Stadamar was pushing the glasses up and dunking on you at the same time, bro. <laughs> yo, he go, he, he get in the paint, knock them glasses up and uh, posterize your ass. I'm like, come on, bro, get this man some, get this man some contacts, bro. <laughs> he got, he got time to do extra shit in the lane, bro. <laughs> yeah. 
he was like, let me let me see the rim real quick. Okay, there it is. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, they had they had a nice team. You remember when uh they was on that playoff run and uh Nash got his face all busted up, man. I oh, that that was yeah that was the Lakers. Yeah, that's what I was finna say. The Lakers, man. I thought I thought they was finna take them, but uh just didn't just didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, just didn't work out for all that. A hard series, bro. Like they yo, it it was getting real chippy in there, man. It was getting real chippy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, they always talk about basketball players don't fight. Yo, they were finna fight. <laughs> it would get, it would get real chippy. Yeah, the Matrix. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> the, they they had some players, you know, right right then and there. I don't know what you call those players. I don't. I don't know. Like, they were some like some some athletic hybrids. We talking about uh, Marion? Uh, uh, what was the guy we just talking about on the uh, on the on the Suns? Uh, yeah, Marion Stoudemire and Chris Weber. Those were some guys that was like crazy athletic. Like, I don't know what they was. They was they was like. You just don't see you don't see a whole lot of basketball players like that. Um, with that yeah they got that bounce you know they they really look like some tight ends or something out there you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they look like some football players kind of like a, kind of like how uh what's his name that's out there right now that uh the the big kid playing for the pelicans man that keep having the knee problems uh yeah they kind of have yeah they kind of had like some zion style bodies like just you know you know in the paint Yeah. He probably didn't like getting hit in the mouth. You know how these millennials is. <laughs> they don't like they don't like that pain. They wanna they wanna do all the you know, all the giving and don't wanna take none. That's why a lot of guys don't don't like like I guarantee you that's why LeBron didn't play. You know, obviously he got into basketball first. I guarantee you that's why LeBron. You know what I'm saying? I, I guarantee you that's why he went NBA. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of these guys just don't don't like getting hit in the mouth. You know, like they're like, nah, all that contact shit. Let me go to a finesse sport. Um. Oh, oh, ain't, ain't Steve Nash Canadian? I thought that's. I thought he was like. And yeah, yeah, Canadian. Yeah, Goosey from Can uh, Canada. You from Canada? Yeah, Sergio's a problem, man. I just wish they would just get rid of him, bro. I don't even like fighting with him because I, I don't feel like I'm trying to like reteach my brain how to throw all the punches and line people up backwards with the controls and shit. And I just don't even want to do it. I don't want to uh, freaking be a, a southpaw at all. I just want him to bring out all the fighters so that I don't have to be a southpaw and I could just kill southpaws. Like, even when I stun somebody as a southpaw, I have a hard time knocking him down because he moves so fucking weird. Like, I can't... The hitbox is all jacked up. I can't even... I can't even KO somebody because the hitbox is weird. The orthodox is moving. He's defending himself, and he's moving funny, and I can't turn my feet. It's fucking stupid. It's already hard enough to... To knock somebody out uh, while they're rocked, and then you got stupid hitbox problems.
These dudes tired as hell, bro. They both, I'm tired, he tired. Shit. I think this whole, you know, well, I'm, outside of dealing with Southpaws, I'm tired of the whole spam conversation, man. I'm tired of, you know what I'm saying? Like that spam conversation is, is unhealthy. And in and, and this boxing game, it's hella unhealthy. Cause I mean, I'm talking about like they don't want you to come out there and just you know, you know, body spam or whatever. But at some point in the fight, well, I'm gonna bust your body up. At some point in the fight, I'm not finna just sit here and let you jab me to death, man. You don't your jab then got through or whatever. I'm not finna let you just jab me to death. Like once once you get cl close to the end, bro, I'm pushing you off the cliff. <laughs> I'm pushing you off the cliff. Call it what you will. I'm not gonna let you get back in the fight with it with with the jab of all things. I'm gonna let you get back in the fight with the jab. Yeah, right. I tell you what would be really crazy if they ever fuck around and gave Sergio Martinez a liver trait, bro. I I quit this fucking game. I just threw the liver. <laughs> if they, cause he hit he hit that the kidney shot the liver cause he's southpaw already. So it it's he's on he's right on top of your kidney. So it's an easy shot to hit. But if they gave him that motherfucking liver trait, bro, I'd be like, yo, fuck this game. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like I can see like this, yeah, Sergio is so broken. Like if you just kind of, you just kind of, you know, just kind of jostle with somebody for a little bit and kind of, you know, peep them out, see like, you know, what they, what they footwork is like. You know, if they're moving inside or outside or whatever, see if they favor the left hand or right hand, and then uh, he could he could really uh, be disruptive because he's so cheese. He's so cheese, man. Like I just been trying, I just been trying random shit, but this guy is so cheese. Like I just I just lit, lit. Robinson up. I rocked him. The lightning hands got his ass. <laughs> He's so cheese. When if you just kind of like sit there and kind of you know like I say just eyeball your fighter and kind of uh, the op the opposite fighter just kind of see what his tendencies are and then be like okay this is gonna work and that's gonna work and then you just wait on him and then bow you know Sergio's gonna get you early late it doesn't matter he's gonna get you because he's so cheese. I think that's one part of my game I need to work on. Like, I, I like to figure somebody out like real, real early in the fight. Like, I keep a lot of pressure, and I like to uh, just try to you know get on your ass immediately. I think if um, depending on the fight, type, like if it's a main event or something like that, you know, where I get twelve rounds with somebody, uh, really just try to like eyeball them for a couple of rounds. Just you know, kind of. You know, throw the jab and things like that, and really just uh, get an understanding of of how how the opponent likes to walk, and then just go in there and KO their ass. 
because that's really that's really what it boils down to man is whenever damn man this this fucking sugar right oh i'm fighting the purist oh man i hadn't been paying attention the whole time i'm fighting the purist right now bro <laughs> i just now noticed that in the 12th round or no it's the 10th round <laughs> I'm not I'm not concerned about his I mean like if I was if I was Sugar Ray Leonard right now it'd have been a rap bro uh, like like I said I peep, I peeped his 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 walking movement that's just how I knocked him down just a minute ago I peeped the way he was walking and... Oh yeah you definitely you can't be fucking around a loose foot bro Oh he caught me uh, <laughs> and then he gonna do the little, he gonna do the little jig. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nah, I think I, I think I only got him. I think I got him one time, and maybe, maybe twice, and I took a knee. Ah, oh, he's coming to finish me. Heal up, homie. Heal up. All right, I just barely got out of that. Damn, I wish I had known that, that I was fighting the Purist earlier. Like, I don't be paying attention to people now. I was sitting in here talking. I wasn't paying attention at all. I wish I had realized that it was him. Um, I said, I wanted to run from you for two rounds and got KO'd unless shit kept me up. <laughs> Still basically, the shit kept me up last night. Couldn't even run away. <laughs> nah, he's, he's going to beat me. He's, uh... The points, he was up like uh, the last scorecard. Yeah, he was up like three points. He'll win by car. Yeah, I mean, he ain't gonna, I don't think he'll win by KO, but he'll win by the car. Yeah. You don't wanna get in here with me? I'm a phone booth hero. <laughs> Look, paparazzi is out, bro. You don't, you don't want, you don't want none of that. Lightning hands. Let me see if I can take him out. He's on the run, folks. He's on the run. Let me see if I can take him out. I was in here just bullshitting. <laughs> he probably he probably seen my name and was like, "Yo, what the fuck is BBR doing?" <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh man, that's hilarious. I never took it serious as soon as I seen Sugar Ray Robinson. I was just like, "Whatever, I didn't care." Yeah, that's that's why as soon as I seen it, I was like, "Whatever," you know. I didn't think it was any anybody of importance like why would you be playing sugar ray <laughs> like that makes that makes no sense like if i'm already if i feel like i'm already op me as a person i feel like i'm a good fighter why would i pick the best fighter in the game what's up joe <clears throat> Pure is still lear learning how to play without Wii Mod. <laughs> oh. Is that is that a is that a is that a cheat code or something? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, 
I don't know. Shit, I mean, it is what it is, bro. Like, I wouldn't, I personally just wouldn't play as Sugar Ray. I also wouldn't play as Sergio, but I'm conducting a, an experiment right now. <laughs> I, I don't want to be Sergio, but man, if this guy's going to be meta, then this is what I got to do. I'm going a, I'm to a go drop Hook City in his chat. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious, bro. Yeah, he already caught he already caught a little bit of Hook City, but Oh, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. He looked like he wanted to fight for the last, you know, 60 seconds. Don't do it. I'm gonna knock you out. Don't do it, bro. He tried to swing back. He he's been running. He trying to swing back. He wants the KO. He wants the KO Hook City. It's not gonna happen, bro. Don't do it. I'm telling you. He he's catching it. Yeah. Yeah, he's done. He's done. That's why he's been he's been running from me for like two rounds. <laughs> nah, he was he was completely done, bro. <laughs> he was cooked. Oh man, that's funny. But like I said, if I had a if I had a been uh Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, I would have I would have gave him the sauce, man. But I'm still trying to I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I could do with uh with Sergio and see, you know, what works against him and what doesn't work against him. And I should have read his name because I think his name says like I think he said I think he's like a thirty a level thirty seven. It's um I, I glanced at it rematch him he wants to fight me if he wants to fight me I, i'll drop a code in the chat that man don't want to don't want to fight me <laughs> man bro Sugar Ray Robinson ain't got there ain't a Sugar Ray in it a Sugar Ray Robinson in this game. I don't think there's anybody using Sugar Ray. Any if, just put it to you like that. Yeah, anybody that's using Sugar Ray ain't 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 a boxer. I'm just we was gonna start there. So there's not a Sugar Ray in the game that's gonna beat me because first of all, they ain't they're not a boxer. Uh <laughs> that is bad. That is that is a hard carry, bro. That uh, that term, yeah. That I hadn't heard that term since I played Dota two, man. That is a hard carry. That is absolutely a hard carry. I'm not 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 even boxing because it, it, you already know at any time. If you feel like you getting your ass whooped and you got the best player in the game, what's going to happen? The fighter is going to go straight to that cheese. He's going to go to the step back straight. He's going to go he's going to go to the hooks, the best hooks in the game. Like don't don't let me play Sugar Ray Robinson. I'm going to be knocking motherfuckers out 30 seconds in. He has the best hook in the game. Uh he's like I mean what I mean what is there to talk about? He got the step back straight. He got the power jab, the uppercuts to the chin, the power, the power straight, the hooks, the lead body hooks that extend across the ring, extendo hooks. Like what you? <laughs> he got everything. His punches, his one-two jab bleeds right through the guard. Yes, everything. He got every tool in the box, bro. Yeah, he got go-go gadget hooks. His his shit. He got everything. He don't. The only weakness he has is maybe a little bit of body stamp, and that's not even weakness when you have all the punches in the game. If you have all the punches in the game, you cannot say that Sugar Ray Robinson has stamina weakness. That just means that you defensively don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> that's what that means. <laughs> 
you, that means defensively you don't know how to get how to how to guard your body get out of there and uh and uh and de defeat your opponent you don't know how to defeat your opponent so that just means that you just don't know what you're doing if if you get beat up to the body with sugar ray robinson you don't know what you're doing just just flat out you don't know what you're doing you know what? For for the for the for the sake of me just talking about what I was talking about, let me let me show y'all a Sugar Ray one Sugar Ray Robinson round. I'm just gonna act up. I'm gonna act up for one round of Sugar Ray Robinson. <laughs> Look at these stats, y'all. Look at these stats. He got 93 on the hook, 96 on the jab. Straight 93. 93 on the hook that's insane and then you know you know me i throw the hook he got increased damage on all directional punches by 10 percent just for just for the sake of me talk like like y'all really want to see a overpowered hook city it's right here it's right here like this is really overpowered because sugar ray robinson can fight on the inside and the outside um I mean, I, I really, I really hit people with the bear claw when I when I fight with Canelo. But you can run away from Canelo. You can get away. You can't escape Sugar Ray Robinson. You can't escape him. So, so just for the just for the sake of me telling you exactly what cheese is, like I'm I'm learning I'm learning uh Sergio because I really don't I don't mess with Southpaw at all. So it's taking me a minute to uh to get my combinations and identify footwork and everything while being southpaw it's really weird it's all backwards and shit but i i'll show you with this man with this man right here dude hard carry the hard carry cheese let me see if i can get a match absolutely Let, let's see what poor soul, what poor soul is finna experience maximum hook city. What poor soul is finna get it? Oh man, it's a level 12. A level 12 called Local Brown Kid. That is a hilarious name. <laughs> Local. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Because I was thinking, like, that doesn't sound like very logical for a black kid. So yeah, maybe, maybe that is. Uh, yeah, it's a Mexican Because <laughs> I was like, I've never referred to myself as a local brown kid Never in my life So <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Name is crazy, right? Like, I don't know any black people that refer to themselves as brown So 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 uh, we're we going to see Maximum Hook City Overdrive Alright, y'all ready? Let me see if I can go ahead and set him up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he already ate it. Let me go ahead and put my shoes on. Y'all know y'all know the code. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with the shoes on. <laughs> with the hair gears. Wow, oh, I tried to get him upside the head. I went I went a little bit over the top. Fuck it. I, I try to get him with the standing one. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to piece him up. Oh, he's going to eat it, man. He's going to eat it. Damn, don't don't whiff with Sugar Ray. <laughs> God, you whiff with him, bro? He be eating up Stan when he whiff. Shit, I didn't know that. I don't even play with this guy, but oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. To the body is stupid. Oh, there it went. There it went. There it went, bro. It didn't take long. And I, I I missed most of my shots. It didn't take long. And you know, Canelo got the chin. For Canelo to get rocked like that early, shouldn't be happening. But, you know, Hook City. 
Look at him. Look, he on the back foot. Hard in the bench, y'all. Y'all see that? He on the back foot. Super hard. He went all the way across the ring. Look at that. Oh, I'm beating his head up. Look, <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> He doesn't, he's already done, bro. He doesn't want no more. That boy is cooked. He is cooked, bro. He literally went all the way across the ring and then across the ring the other way. He is thinking, what in the entire fuck? I, I bet you he'll take a 10 count. When I knock him out, he'll just lay there. I bet you'll take a 10 count. I could just tell in his vibes right now. I could tell in his vibes. He might not take the first 10, 10 count, but the second one, oh, I bet he'll take it. He ain't he ain't gonna get up. That second one. Look, he already don't want it, bro. Like he is moving side to side, back to back. He is not trying to go forward as a Canelo, which is crazy. I ate him right there. Paparazzi. Ate him. He hurt. He hurt. Boy, his brain look like spaghetti. <laughs> On one X damage, bro. If that if that was one point five, it would have been instant KO. Instant KO. If you get hurt. On, on one X like that, you know that's instant KO on, on fucking 1.5. <laughs> this shit would have been jello. Hot jello, bro. What you want to do about it, homie? This boy went straight back foot. Don't pull the plug on a quick match, homie. It ain't that serious. <laughs> I seen the red, the red ping come up there. Don't pull the plug on a quick match, homie. It ain't that serious, bro. It's just a quick match. Rocked him. Put him to sleep. Let's let's see. I'm telling you, he'll get up after this one. That second one, I think he gonna take a he gonna take a ten count on that second one, bro. <laughs> well rested. He gonna be like, yo, this sugar ray is bogus, bro. That's what he gonna say. He gonna say this sugar ray is completely bogus. He might even come to the stream and be like, bro, you cheating? Turn off the hacks. <laughs> I'm gonna hear a whole bunch of shit. He come to the stream. He gonna be like, "Man, use use a hook spammer, boy. My name Hook City, bro. Quit playing with me." <laughs> I mean, what you want my name to be, Jab City? <laughs> Motherfucker would get mad if I jabbed him to death. It don't matter. Stam up, bro. Let me get my stam up. All right, let me finish your ass. Look at that. That is a one x, one x rock with the with the hook, bro. Like I could only imagine on one point five how this boy hooks would come out. He would have first round one shot KOs. I think it only took me like two hooks. Oh, he getting back up. I think it only took me two hooks uh, to rock him. On, on 1x damage if I was on 1.5 talk about flush come on Nello come on Nello Paparazzi, paparazzi. All right, 
I'll let you make it, man. To the next round. To the next episode, huh? Let me see here. At least he put his hands up. There'd be so many fighters that don't even put their damn hands up and wonder why they get knocked out. At least he blocking. Right now, finna eat up his block. Finna eat up his guard. He ain't gonna be able to block it. Boy, he on full retreat. <laughs> full retreat. <laughs> Man, I've never seen a Canelo backpedal so hard, bro. He's on full retreat. Like, fuck this. Look, look, he's taking that 10 count now. He's done. He's done because I, I went right through his guard. That's what happened. He was blocking. I burnt up his guard, and then I ate him with the hooks. <clears throat> and he, uh, I told you, he he got up three times, but I told you he wasn't. Uh, I was gonna get him to the point to where he was gonna be like, "Fuck this," and that's because that guy right there is a hard carry. That guy, Sugar Ray Robinson, is a hard carry. Com completely burnt his block, packed him up, light pack, got him up out of there real quick, light pack. Yeah, it, man. Oh, yeah, don't nobody want to hear that, see that, or none, none of that, bro. Like, come, come back when you, come back when you tell me you you pack somebody up with Mickey Ward, and I'll be like, hold up, let me watch the stream, man. You packing people up with Mickey Ward? <laughs> yeah. Come back when you tell me uh, you you uh, whoop somebody, uh, George Davy versus uh, Crawford or some shit. I'd be like, bro, you got the hacks. Ain't no fucking way you George Davy <laughs> Crawford. <laughs> the the lo the lowest attack versus the highest defense. Boy, you didn't win. You did not win. Yeah, at best you went to the cards. You went to the cards, but there ain't no way you KO a fucking Bud Crawford as George Davy. I would like to see this fight. I would like to see what numbskull you was fighting. They could they, they couldn't they couldn't one punch KO George Davy. Come on, man. You know, everybody Crawford is is universally banned across the league for a reason because he's got a one punch KO. So if <laughs> so, whatever Crawford you played against, clearly he didn't have no buttons on his controller. Yes, that boy will rock you immediately. All right, let me go back. Oh, let me go. Let me go back to the uh to learn it to uh, yeah to to the cheese the machizo Sergio the machizo. Oh man, I'm fighting the local brown kid again. Well, it won't be as cheesy this time, local bar. Okay, I mean it's I'm, it's pretty cheesy. <laughs> it's the next it's the next best cheese to to, to Sugar Ray Robinson. <laughs> the next best cheese. It's not as bad, but it's up there. It's up there. Let's see. Let's see if I put him on the back foot again. Gooda cheese, gooda, gooda, gooda. God, 
That Sergio was just too fucking fast, bro. Like, he could really pick you apart. That's the biggest thing. Like, if you just play him patiently, if you play Sergio off the back foot defensively, he's going to he's gonna take your fucking lunch, man. He's going it, to... It's ridiculous. Like, this dude is, like, straight kick door savage, man. He's just going to run up in your house and just take everything from your family. Not just you, but your whole damn family. <laughs> this dude is... This dude is a real. Yeah. <laughs> like this is this is wild, bro. Like, like look. Now all you gotta do, yes, yeah, the same dude, the brown, the local brown kid. <laughs> <laughs> man what are you talking about bro i got sent and they didn't even give me days bro they just say you there indefinitely <laughs> so you know i fucked up <laughs> man say i got i got let me tell you everybody else they had their little desk and they had their days above their desk like they gotta you gotta do yeah, you got to do like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Bro, I didn't have no days at all. <laughs> I was just there. <laughs> I was about to go to jail. I was at ISS so strong, bro. <laughs> they were like, yo. <laughs> yeah. They Damn, they they try to pay they try to pay you off. They gave you some hush money, bro. <laughs> they were like, yo. Man, what are you talking about? I had to learn how to eat different foods. Like, I had to learn how to eat, you know, eat some WP food. <laughs> man, yeah, the food was different up in there, man. I literally felt like I was in prison, man. And I was like, yeah. I was like, yo, you know, I did good. I didn't, I didn't get in any trouble or like that. You know, you're gonna take shave some days off. They was like, nope. Like, I, I was beyond, you know, good work. You know, <laughs> like I was beyond, beyond. Not only could I, you know, I was beyond rehabilitation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I was on some, some lock them up, throw away the key, put them in solitary confinement type shit. Throw the book at him. Nah, 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 not that, man. I just, I just tell it to you like this. Long story short, man. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 36 and my daughter's 22. <laughs> so, you know, I started at a young age and uh, got me, got me. <laughs> Got caught up. <laughs> Got caught up. Yeah, you, you ever seen the uh the last um what was it called uh the last uh damn the uh the Candyman the Candyman movie? Yeah, you see, well, you seen the original one, right? Yeah, the OG one. You know why I can't. You know why Candyman became the Candyman, right? Because you know they didn't like him. Uh, the town didn't like him liking white girls. <laughs> yeah, I I almost was the Candyman, bro. <laughs> That's that. Uh, I literally I got the book. I I, I yeah, man. I, my daughter said I ran out of toner. <laughs> oh, 
them up. So that's what happened, man. Uh, they uh, they locked me up for good, for good. They were like, nah, you can't be doing that. I got lucky, bro. I got, I got lucky that I even I was even able to, you know, like get out and move around the next year because they didn't they didn't really give me they didn't tell me nothing. They were just like, yo, you in there for good and like. <laughs> For good, for good, man. With no conversations, it was like I got locked up. Like I've been to jail recently, and uh, you know, you go to jail, you get your phone call, and they don't, they don't talk to you. They're just like, "Yo, get sit back in there until we, till we decide you can talk to the, to the public." <laughs> they don't talk to you at all. They, boy, they put them cuffs on you, and after that, bro, uh, for the guy, for the guys that ain't been to jail, that was that was my first, my first experience. You know, like. Uh, I, 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 you know, I made a mistake and I went to jail and uh, it's not a good experience at all. And they once they put them cuffs on you, bro, you ain't you not talking to nobody. <laughs> you know, man, that's how people get lost in the system. You're not talking to you're not talking to nobody. You they put you in that room and and uh, and you just in there, man. You get your one phone call. You better hope your mama, your sister, somebody answer. And then they put you right back in that room. You better hope you got somebody on the outside to love you. Say, so, man, them motherfuckers came by and gave me a. I, I was sitting in that thing for like six, eight hours. They came by and gave me one, one thing of pop tarts. I was like, what is this? And I'm like, shit, that's that's your lunch. That's your, you know, that's your food, bro. I didn't even eat that shit. I gave that to my cellmate. That's all I got. Like, I was like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, people's like, you know, what do you think? You in jail. You think they're going to, you know, treat you good or give you good meals and shit? I mean, no. I don't, I really don't expect, you know, to be, you know, feeding prisoners and things like that. But I mean, like, damn. A Pop Tart, bro. Like, I thought I was going to get food, not candy. <laughs> Pop tart is literally candy, isn't it? That's not food. I thought I would at least get ramen noodles. Yeah. I got a pop tart. Man, I'm telling you, don't go to, don't mess up. Don't go to jail. You're gonna be eating pop tarts. <laughs> How much time did you spend? Nah, man, I didn't. I didn't spend a whole lot of time. I didn't spend a whole lot of time, bro. I, I was I was in and out, but I was in there long enough to get to get two pop tarts. <laughs> Never, bro. I, I got my phone call. You know, went through, and I was like, "Yo, mama, daddy, brother, somebody, somebody." I don't care what y'all gotta do. Get me out, man. I I will I will go to work and I get the money. I pay I pay back whatever I gotta do. I pay y'all back, but yeah, you gotta get me up out of this thing. Well, I'm talking about I was in that thing, and it's just nothing. There's nothing in there, you know. You just in there, man. We just and I only had one cellmate at the time. Uh, man. You just, I just slept all day and then I got up and we just walked around the tables for hours and hours on end. Yeah, so you don't, yeah, we just walked around the tables. I don't know how many laps I did. I just walked around the table for hours and hours and hours. And he was uh, Hispanic, so he didn't really speak English, so I couldn't even talk to him. We just walked around the tables. Yeah, now he, he told me he was like, get up and walk. I was like laying there for a long time. And he got up and he was like, hey, you got to walk around the tables because he was there before me. <laughs> and I was like, all right, uh, I guess that's what we're going to do. We're just going to walk around the table. So, so that, man, I'm talking about hours and hours because it was cold as hell in there, too. It was a cold day uh, in Texas. You know the cold days just it, you know this was recent it was it was real cold it was one of them freezing days and uh they gave us uh one little blanket and you know your little your little uh twin bed cot thing bro 
And if you didn't want to be cold, you better stand up and walk. Oh my goodness, so it was, it was, uh, yeah. Let me tell you, I know better now. Whatever, whatever problem you got, prison stories with PZ. <laughs> whatever problem you got, yo, Dre, shut up, bro. <laughs> whatever problem you got, man, say. Oh, I don't know. You better, you better go outside. That's all I can tell you. You better, you better go sit down somewhere. You better find something else to do. Are you gonna get a fucking pop tart? <laughs> That's what you gonna get. All that big boy shit you was talking, you gonna end up with a fucking pop tart. Bro, I'm talking about that shit. That shit's wow. This is this is funny right here. That's, okay, that's something I just noticed. All right. Okay, I I think I just picked up on a little on a little wrinkle. That's strange. You want to fight me a heavyweight? Uh, I guess you got a heavyweight fight or something coming up. Yo, what's up, Angles? I don't really want to fight heavyweight, but I gotta learn sooner or later. So. I guess I might as well. Our league tournament launching is unique. Gonna be sweaty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely gonna be. Definitely gonna be unique and sweaty. Ooh. I done pieced them up, bro. It's over with for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got a pop, 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 pop. <laughs> that boy went to the ground. <laughs> Them things was coming fast, bro. <laughs> I didn't think he was going. I think he was going down right there. Yeah, this dude just eating hooks, bro. Wow. This dude just wants to die right now. He wants to die. Canelo gets really pieced up by this guy too easy, man. Yeah, it's it's reach height and everything. Like if 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 can if you can hold Canelo off with the with the jab, he he's done. That's all you need. He's he's cooked if he can't get past your jab. Like he looks silly. He looks silly. I hit him with like a 20 piece combo right there. Like he can't he can't deal with the jab. I jabbed him, straight him, then I threw in some hooks and everything. Once he got close, then I just boom 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 everywhere the whole damn body.
Yeah. I mean, that it's pretty bad if, if you if you can't even win with a cheat. Oh, uh, you know, boxing might not be for you, man. Just how about you just be a viewer? Just be a fan. <laughs> Be a fan, homie. Be a fan. He said, BZ, I'm going to move you and E into Team Locker Room. All right. That's cool. Go ahead. Yeah, do your thing. I don't even know where we at. What locker room we in? Boy, he caught the fade. That's the fatal move right there. That's the fatal move by your man, by your man, uh, Sergio Cheesmo right there. Anytime you walk into the pocket with him, he gonna he gonna cheese you. Oh, he was in the tournament chat. <laughs> I had no idea where we was. We was just talking. I was like, shit, this look like a good room to bump my gums. Let's talk right here. Look, boy, I tell you, Sergio, wow. Sergio, wow for that, bro. What? They didn't let me get that? I can't believe they didn't let me get that. Now, oh, Sergio, hella wow. Like, this dude, this dude is wow, wow. Like, once you really, once you really get your, uh, Get your understanding of Southpaw together. Oh my goodness. This is one abusive fighter. Sergio is very, very abusive. I'm just now getting into my stride with Sergio. This is an abusive fighter. God. Like everything about him is just, just absolutely nuts. Yeah, man, this this fighter is so abusive, bro. Everything about this guy is just fucking crazy, man. His jabs are straight. His uppercut. His hooks. Everything about this guy is just abusive. Even his powers. Power jab. Power straight. Power hook. Like who's throwing power hooks? Sergio Goofy Cell throwing power hooks. Freaking crazy. I ain't never threw a power hook. It just take too long. But his shit come out. His, his shit. Yeah. Yeah, everything about this guy is just fuck insane. Like if you if you really get your southpaw shit down, talking about somebody that really tee off on you. That's that's what's up, bro. It's Sunday, so only right.
I'm going to go ahead and knock this kid out. I'm going to pack him up real quick. I'm going to pack him up with the left hook. Yep, it's coming. It's coming. There it goes. Boy, I hit him with that. That motherfucking left so hard. There it is right there. Like, <laughs> yo, this dude is at will, bro. At will. Joke from the John. What's good? <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, man, I fought him back to back. I abused the hell out of him as Sugar Ray Robinson, and then they they ran it right back with with the next the next up on the cheese list and uh, the same thing, man. I just I just beat him up, you know, just jabbed him and hooked him to death, jabs and straight and everything like. But yeah, I, I I was starting to get a whole bunch of different looks out of, out of Sergio. I see. Bro, I see that Sergio was super cheese, man. Like, his hands are just too fast. Uh, and you could really just pick somebody apart with, with them. Uh, I think that's why I took the L because, you know, I, I fight, like, super pressure. And if somebody pressures you at Sergio, you could just wait until you see an opening and just boom, pop him. And then let him swing a few more times and boom, pop him, like... Sergio could punish a pressure fighter. Just absolutely nuts. Yeah, he can beat he can he can beat you to the punch. He could beat you after the punch. You know what I'm saying? He could beat you before the punch, to the punch, and after the punch. So I mean what you supposed to do with that? Like he could throw a punch and just hit you before you could even swing. He could throw a punch and hit you while you're swinging, or you could he could wait till you swing and then throw a punch. <laughs> like that's why I said lightning hands is whack, bro. Lightning hands is hella whack, but they got it in the game. Man, I didn't even see this follow 13 minutes ago. Uh, thank you for the follow, Neymar. I think this is Neymar by the. By the way, I guess that's what BTW is. Neymar, by the way. Thank you for the follow, Neymar. Damn, I missed some follows. What in the world? Uh, Neymar, by the way, and uh, Julian. Thank you for the follow. If y'all still up in here. Yeah, I missed two follows. Neymar, by the way, and Julian. I was I was too focused goofing off. I think you have your alerts and some of your browser sources off. Nah, I I think I, I heard them, but whatever I was doing, I was in I was in the middle of doing some some goofiness. Um, I heard the some follows come through. I just didn't look. There goes my man. Trump. My man Trump. Out here doing the most. Can we do heavyweight? I want to use you sick. Yeah, we got heavyweight. You sick. Yeah, you know what? This will be. I, I I peeped some uh some ways to fight a southpaw while I was using um. Who you say, Joe Lewis? <sighs> Not Joe Frazier. There's a lot of Joes in this motherfucker. Joe Fraser, Joe Lewis, Joe Joyce. Jo <laughs> um, I peeped some ways how to attack uh, a southpaw while I was playing as a southpaw. So uh, I'm going to see if it works.
I seen I seen some big holes in the uh, in the southpaw that I I wasn't able to see while I was fighting uh, fighting against the southpaw. I wasn't able to pick up on it, but I was able to see it when I was a southpaw. <sighs> and it's just because of the way the southpaw stand like their their backs are all in the in the freaking screen and he's like what is going on it's their stance stance and the way they walk it's just goofy as fuck but okay see so let me talk about it while i'm while i'm fighting so I will be able to hurt this Usyk when he right there he threw that he throws his left on the bottom side of the screen and he throws his left I'm gonna attack him if he throws a left and if he walks up on the mat I'm gonna attack him and my hitbox my hitbox will work if he throws a left hand or if he walks up mat I'm gonna beat him up so when he goes down mat I'm I'm in trouble. Down mat, I'm in trouble. But if he's if he's center line or up mat, I'm getting him. Or if he throws that left right there, he threw it. I know that the hitbox will work. See, and that's interesting. I think he's uh he's in he's in loose foot. Yeah, so he's moving a little fast. So you can get him going up, Matt, but he's in loose foot, so he was walking pretty fast, so he walked out of my punch range. There it is. So what you don't want to do against the southpaw is walk down, Matt, into their power hand. That's what you don't want to do. If they walk up, Matt, you got them. But you do you don't want to walk down mat. If you walk down mat, you're gonna get KO'd. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that they had an opening in their defense going up going up mat. That's one thing that's really new to me. See, there's still a fundamental problem. I'm seeing it now. There's a fundamental problem with fighting Southpaw. I'll tell you what that problem is. Anytime, this is where you fuck up fighting a Southpaw. If you throw, if you throw inside, like a lead body uppercut or a right hook, if you throw any of your right punches or a lead body and for whatever reasons you miss because the hitbox is, is fucked up, that's when a southpaw has double, that's where the southpaw has the advantage. Because you're gonna you're gonna whiff 
your ins your inside punches, your uh, your lead body, um, your lead body uppercut or your your right uppercut, you're gonna whiff just based off of him being a southpaw, and then he's gonna punish you uh, because at that point, once you whiff, he knows that your hitbox is open, so then he can he can hit you with the uh, with a, a left hook or anything he wants to hit you with because once you swing on the inside your your hitbox is is wide open to uh to get punished so if you're orthodox it will it makes more sense for you to play defensive versus a southpaw and let him open up his own hitbox uh, because anytime you throw, see how he threw that, that lead body uppercut? And he couldn't connect because my hitbox wasn't open. So if a player, see he threw his lead body, that opened up his hitbox. Anytime, that's the problem with, uh, with orthodox versus southpaw. Soon as the, uh, the other player throws an inside punch, or their right hand, uh, my right hand, his left hand, that opens up their hitbox. That's what. That's when all of a sudden the fight becomes even. Um, Southpaw versus orthodox. So it would be smart for you to never walk down on mat. If you walk down on mat, that opens up your hitbox. Never walk down on the mat, and never throw that inside punch because you're going to get punished by the uh by the southpaw which is really hard to do to tell yourself don't don't do it because you're trained to throw it when you fight orthodox so now you got to tell your stop yourself don't throw it uh when you see a southpaw fighter don't don't throw inside until until you see him throw inside That's absolutely crazy. So yeah, the, I think there's definitely a hitbox problem in the game. Like I can I can see it now. There's a problem with uh with the hitbox registering registration, whatever you want to call it, hitbox detection versus uh, a southpaw. See, as soon as he walked down on the mat, I started missing my punches. And if I follow him, I'm going to get knocked out. Don't follow a southpaw down uh, into his... Uh, Joe Lewis, nice. <laughs> yeah, don't follow a southpaw into his uh, left hand. You're dead in the water. Oh, look at that. I touched I touched down on on my uh on my left stick right when he punched me. I press I touched it and he knocked me out. I literally like I touched it for just a millisecond and he knocked me out. Yeah. Uh that's why I said don't uh the game is still robbing us while not letting it switch. Absolutely. They I don't know what they're going to do when they when they allow you to stand switch, but the hand speed is fucked up on the stand on the stand switch. You could try it if you go to offline mode. Um So they're going to they're going to have to do more than just say okay, you can stand switch. That ain't the answer because even if you switch stances, yeah. 
yeah, they can't fight orthodox. Just because you change your feet, they can't throw their hands in in the uh, southpaw stance. Uh, yeah. Basically, it doesn't matter if you can stand switch at all unless you have the trait. Because I tried it. I, I was playing Sugar Ray Leonard, which has good hand speed. I stand switched, and his hands were slower than Dalton Smith and Southpaw. Because he can't, he can't, he doesn't have the uh, the trait. So yeah, like I said, if you go down mat against the southpaw, you're gonna you're gonna get KO'd, and it literally happened to me. As he walked down mat, as soon as I touched the stick, he hit me, and and there it is. It happened again. I walked down mat. He threw that he threw that fucking hook, and I got rocked immediately. You get sucked into that left hand, you are dead. That shit happens in welterweight. It, it, obviously, it's happening in heavyweight. That's a KO. So he started walking down mat, and I was walking down mat too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you're talking about real life, yeah, real life, yeah. He he he'd still be fast. But in the game, as soon as you switch stances, the game punishes you for being in the wrong stance. That's that's just what the developers did. Because you had to think of it like this. If they didn't punish you for being if they if they made you an orthodox fighter and then they allowed you to stand switch and they don't punish you for being in the opposite stance why be an orthodox fighter at all why like there's everybody should just there, everybody should just be orthodox like there's got to be a punishment for for switching stances there has to be a punishment if there's if yeah if there's no punishment for for going southpaw as an orthodox fighter then I mean, you don't even, you just, everybody just fight orthodox because we're not going to punish you anyways. Then you're just going to have guys like stand switching like 35 times a, a fight. Like I switch, they switch, I switch, they switch, I switch, they switch. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it's going to be some goofy shit. So re really, the only guys that will be stance stance switching will be the guys with the traits. See right there, he threw a knockout punch at me. He threw a, a, a left hook was a knockout punch. The only reason why I didn't get knocked out is because I did not walk down mat. Had my feet been going down mat, he would have rocked me. Because he knocked the fucking spit out of my mouth. Oh, he caught me with it. I'm talking about as soon as I touched the stick, the hook was coming out, and boom, rocked immediately. Boy, I tell you, Southpaw's got it made. Like, I seen it coming, and and I touched the stick anyways. I seen, I seen the hook. It was mid, it was like in the middle of the air, and and I walked right into it. I seen it coming like slow mo, and I just couldn't help myself.
that's not that's like not even a thing as as an orthodox fighter there's like people don't generally walk into your hook generally they don't do it unless you're throwing i believe a left hook that's the one that, that nate gets everybody with i think it's the left hook that's the one that that uh orthodox fighters run into um That's how that's how uh, Fight Nights Finest tried to do me. He tried to do me just like Nate did because they got that shit from Fight Night. Um, then an Orthodox fighter uh, is more likely to die by the left hook than the right hook because the way that they walk. Oh man, I seen you, Zay. I seen you. You was trying to set me up. I seen it happen. I seen it happen right there. He started backstepping, and then all of a sudden, while he was backstepping, he walked down Matt and he threw the hook and tried to KO me. That's a nice little setup. He was walking straight back. He turned down Matt and threw the hook. And if I had kept following him, I would I would have died on sight. Nice. That's a nice setup, Zay. I see what you're doing. That's a crazy. That's why Southpaw is so hard to do deal with. Man, I'm gonna give me a water, bro. I'm so mad at you, Zay. I'm so mad at Southpaw. So I'm gonna get a water. That's how I feel right now. Water break. Fucking water break. I see I seen exactly what you were doing. That setup is like trying to throw a power straight, but opposite hands. It's like trying to set up a power straight with uh with your left hand. It says Debs robbed Joe Lewis too, knocked him down to an eighty eight, and they made him a slugger. Apparently they never seen him fight. <laughs> oh, what a setup. What a setup, Zay. What a setup. All right, Zay. All right, Zay. Coming with the foolery. Okay, Zay. Okay, Zay.
That's how, that's how far BS. Sick and tired of Southpaws in this game. Let's see exactly what's going on. Wait them Southpaws be changing direction. Line you up. Next thing you know, you getting KO. Yo, Zay, I need you to I need you to come back and fight me. I'm gonna try that shit. That shit that you just did to me. Motherfucker walked me. He walked me right into a uh to a left hook. He walked me right into a left hook a couple of times, and I was I was trying to figure out what he was doing. Like I already I already know how you get knocked out by the left hook, but I was trying to figure out how he what his uh his footwork was to like suck me into it, and I seen him do it two times in a row. Actually, he knocked me. He rocked me three times in a row. And uh, it's easy to do it as a southpaw because of just the way the the way the fighters are set up and the pathing. He walked he walked me right into it like uh like how you walk somebody into a right straight. So so I, I wanted uh if he's still here, I don't know if he's still in the in the live stream. I want to see uh if you can do the same kind of setup with the uh, with the orthodox fighter like how how he set me up it was crazy i never thought to set anybody up like that yo thank you for the follow true shooting I guess he ain't up in here. I'll have to do it against a uh I'll have to do it against a a quick match or something like that. I'm trying to I'm trying to you know it's weird like once you fight Southpaw and then downloading the game right now trying to trying to learn it. Ah well true shooting. I used to uh I used to do tips and tricks tutorials so you was like you was like right there you was almost in the right place. I don't quite do tutorials like that. But um you definitely can learn a lot from watching me fight. If you just pay attention to how I fight. <laughs> if you pay it He says I'm I'm trying to watch gameplay. That's all. Okay. He says, I'm here for the ranting and raging. Bring the smoke. <laughs> he here for the rage. Yeah, yeah, true shooting you. If uh, if I ever come around some of these so-called top-ranked fighters, so-called, yeah, I, I act a fool. I act a fool. You're going to hear a whole lot of that ranting and raging. When I get in, when I get into character, when I get into character, so he said it's so calm today. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> that's fucked up. It's calm because there's no there's no competition. There ain't no competition right now. If I was in, if I was in a uh, and some custom matches or something on One X, or if I was a uh, if somebody challenged me or something, if I could get into a a, a league a league uh, fight, yeah, league fight, yeah, I'm gonna act up. He <laughs> said, "Give me back all myself, man." Look, here he go. He trying to get me hyped, bro. He just he just he just saying random shit. Parsec fighters are the best fighters in the game. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here he goes, bro. Here he goes. Man. He's saying some wild shit. Oh my god. Best fighters in the game. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna send them straight. I'm gonna I'm raid Savage Boxing League and then come back to my to my stream. <laughs> I'm gonna raid Savage Boxing and then it, like, act like I stopped streaming and then come back. <laughs> man, man, oh man. Man, you know what? I'm on. You know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna take. I think I'll take a time out and I'll fix the. Uh, I'll fix the emos for y'all. Let me see if I can do it real fast. Only if I can do it real fast. Let me see if I can make that happen. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go straight to the website. Alert. Log in. Now, if I have to think more than like 10 minutes, I'm going to stop thinking. I'm going to tell y'all right now. <laughs> if my brain have to go hard in the paint to make this thing work, I'm, I'm going to stop thinking. this what is this crap right here walk on settings browsers here we go browser source there we go got it got the browser source and let me set it up sources mm, browser source add source Add source. Wait, what the hell? It's gonna be a new browser source. Right here, paste. Um, I don't know why I'm not able to change the name of this browser source, but whatever. All right, uh, let's. Let me see. We'll go ahead and give it a try. See if I got it working, so that y'all can. Uh... All right, it works. It works, guys. We got the blurps are back online. The blurps are online. Oh man, ten items or less. Ten items or less. The fast checkout line. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. He said, I don't think I heard it. You heard it, but yeah, I'm, I'm hearing it. Oh, man. You can't hear it? That's strange. Damn, what the hell? And then it messed up my other... I'm gonna have to hold on. I gotta. It messed up my other widget. Let me see here. What in the hell? It messed up my other widget. Shit. Okay, there we go. Let me create a new widget.
Let me, uh, I gotta redo it. There we go, okay. Bam, that should that should work now. All right, perfect. So we'll hit the uh, widget one more time. Yeah, there we go. That shit really don't even need to be on my stream. All right, there we go. We took that shit off. All right, yeah, we don't need the text or nothing to pop up. It's really low. Damn, is there like a way to turn the audio up on it? Let me find out. don't know if there's a way to I mean I hear it and hear it very little I can hear it a lot uh, try it one more time try it again I turned up the desktop audio maybe that'll <clears throat> maybe that is that better I do not know how to fix that big homie I never knew that you could change the volume on the volume of the blurp um, that is very interesting I'll go back to the website. Maybe it's something on the actual blurp, the blurp uh, dashboard that could change it. I'm not really sure. cool talk later I don't know turn off readers for now rewards up, 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 up. maybe I can fix it later on um, themes alert box library widgets dashboard home cloud bot alert bot settings Alert delay, alert moderate delay. Widgets creators, absolute apps manager. Change tips settings. Widgets, alert box settings. What is, let's see, app manager. What are app managers? Yo, what's up, big holder? He said, bust them up, crack, <laughs> crack his foot. <laughs> what is this? Looks like you don't have any apps. What is going on here? I need to go back to wherever I was my profile I need to go back to my stream 
How do I go back to my stream? Uh, no, I don't want to log out. I want to see my stream again. Okay, there we go. Whew. I was like, man, I messed it up. So thanks you, thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the cheer, big holder. I gotta get in here and box this dude head up. Look, he trying to beat me up. Okay, so I learned. I seen. I seen Zay do something crazy to me, and I gotta. I'm gonna try to recreate it. Zay did something to me. I'm gonna try to recreate this. He tried. He set me up on a knockout. And I gotta recreate this knockout. So my fighter is right-handed. I wanna. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what I'm trying to do. I think I know what I'm trying to do. All right. Let me see if I can make this shit happen. So this guy's not a very, uh, not a very skillful fighter, but I think I think I figured out what Zay did to me. I'm gonna have to use it against. I'm gonna have to use it a few more times against some other fighters. Against some orthodox orthodox versus orthodox. But I seen he. He he did he has some fancy footwork. He definitely set me up, and he did that shit intentionally. And I'm just trying to figure out how to do it the right way. Yeah, I'm not a back I'm not a back foot fighter. And he did he did a back foot move to me so smooth. He KO'd my ass three times with it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Think I wasn't watching. Think I wasn't watching? I seen exactly what he did to me. Yeah. Uh. I seen exactly what they did to me. That shit was real, real smooth, man. Got to add that to my to my repertoire, you know what I'm saying? You can always put more tools in the toolbox. If you don't, if you can't, get another toolbox. Carry two. Get another toolbox. You can always get more tools. I don't fight off the back foot like that. But man, was that, man, was that sweet. I never even like, like never really thought of that like an angle at all. I never really seen, seen the angle that he put me in. But I seen it today. I'm already dangerous. I'm already dangerous, y'all. I seen that angle today. That boy put me put me in a blender. Put him in a blender. Hey man, y'all want to see Hook City talk some shit? Bring me some fresh meat, man. Bring me some fresh meat. Bring me a fighter. 
tell somebody to come over here and get beat up. And I talk shit. I'm feeling in the mood. I'm feeling in the mood, y'all. The same girl that called you called me. Anybody bring me a contender, man? I got some bits for them. Huh? Where they at? Come on out, Jay Surge. Come on out. I heard you got time on Sundays. I heard you got time on Sundays. Yeah. I was. I, I think I was in a meeting and I heard something about you don't go to church. Come on out. I'm finna bless you. Come on out. Come on out, Jay Surge. He said he is the church. Come on out. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Where you at? Where is you at? Got the code right here. Damn, there go the code. Hallelujah. Come on out. I, I need I need somebody to put these hands on. I need somebody need to get blessed. I'm 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 performing some baptisms today. Come on out. Holder, go get the water. Go get the water, holder. Holder, go get the water. I need some holy water. We finna bless this man today. <laughs> you got the alien. Powder. Powder. Is y'all ready? Y'all ready? I gotta act up one time. One time for your motherfucking mind. Yo. <laughs> Thank you for the bits again, Holder. Thank you for the bits again. Was that? What's up with this thing? Did somebody else send me bits? Did it say Holder and Try Hard son, bits? I'm not can't really. I'm not really sure. If you did send me twenty bits, Try Hard. Thank you for the twenty bits. The 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 little mini feed ha it has me confused. The mini feed has me confused. It's, it says holder and try hard, twenty bits. Thank you for anybody that sent the bits to cheer. Thank you. I'm waiting on my opponent. Try hard is just a black man's face. <laughs> face. Oh oh okay oh that's the uh, that's the emoji that you use. You sent twenty bits. Plus the uh the the face. I got you. That was confusing. I was like, what is that? Uh I was I was reading the the alerts, the mini feed. I'm still I'm getting used to uh Streamlabs. Streamlabs uh sends me uh the mini feed is a little bit different than the one that I used to look at on OBS. There we go. There we go. I had to stretch, had to move my screen around, stretch the screen some, so I could see, I could see uh more than one mini feed at a time. That was messing me up as well. I could only see uh one update at a time, so I move some things around. Come on, I need somebody to fight, y'all. You can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. Where he at? <laughs> smell that? I smell shit. Where he at? Jay Surge over here taking the shit. I'm gonna knock him out. I'm waiting on them, y'all. All 
I already know he, he should get here fast. Mr. Track Shoes. Mr. Track Shoes, where you at, Mr. Track Shoes? We got a couple, we got a couple neighborhood track show neighborhood superstars, track stars. We got a few of them. Where you at, track star? Hey, anybody else want to get in here? Track star can't find the shoes right now. He ain't moving fast enough. He looking for his shoes. I'm going to beat him up barefoot. Get in the ring with the polar bear with red hair. Chat, where you at? Where you at? There go the code. There go the code. Let me do it again. I thought y'all wanted to fight the DGL champ. I thought y'all wanted to fight the DGL champ. Where you at? I wish you would come up in here, Orthodox. I wish you would. South Paul, stay at home. Stay at home, South Paul. Show up in this thing, Orthodox. What weight you want? Women's? Bantamweight, lightweight, featherweight, middleweight, cruiserweight, heavyweight? What you want? I need somebody to get knocked out. Step right up. You need to be this tall to ride the ride. You need to be this tall. You southpaw, four foot nine, lightning hand motherfucker, stay at home. Stay at home. You four foot tall, lightning hand, oompa loompa. Chocolate factory looking motherfucker. Stay at home. <laughs> he said, I'm just lucky. I'm just lucky. Yeah, I might be. Last time I checked, hold hold the TV was probably about six foot tall. So he he probably not one of them Southpaw Oompa Loompas. I might be. But when it come out on console, I'ma send you a copy for free. Yes, yeah, right. I'm gonna send you a golden ticket to Hook City for free. 6-3, yeah, I knocked down Giants. I knocked down Giants. Come on with your giant ass. <laughs> what, little girl? Ah, love My you. dad is a fighter. Fight this game. <laughs> Get your butt out of here. I said put some socks on. You oh. still ain't got them on. Where they at? I ain't seen nobody pull up yet. I man, y'all gonna have me. You know what? Let me let me go ahead and let me go ahead and show y'all Hook City is real. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Let me show you where you where you gonna go when you pull up to Hook City. Hook City graveyard. We're going to go ahead and do a rank match. We're going to go ahead and do a rank match, y'all. We're going to bring out the Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, this this uh, rank welterweight. Let's see if anybody out there. Uh, thank you, sweetheart. You got socks on. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hola. Big girl. Hi, good chat. I'm back from my uh, trip. <laughs> She's back from a trip. She went to SeaWorld. She back. Mermaid out. Get the mermaid. And she got a mermaid tattoo on her arm. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> are strong. Get these muscles out. <laughs> <laughs> now, go sit down and watch that channel your mama told you to watch. You know the correct channel. Disney. Mm -hmm. Okay. Disney. Okay. Not YouTube. Okay. Okay. Bye, baby. Hey, let's get them. Well, I tell you, they don't want to show up. Oh, yo, thank you for the follow, Danny. Danny is McLovin. Thank you for the follow. I can't get nobody to come in. I can't get nobody to put the code in. I can't get nobody to show up in and undisputed. Come on, man. Where they at? I fight them in welterweight. I fight them in lightweight. I fight them in women's. Cue it up. 
Put your belt on the line. You ready, Danny? Bring that thing. Bring it here, Danny. Bring it here, Danny. You know what? Since you stepped up to the plate, Danny. Since you stepped up to the plate, there go the code. Your code, your rules, Danny. Yo, your rules. Oh, I'm talking, baby. Tarp. Tarp, I'm talking, baby. I'm talking. Huh? Huh? Hold up. Hold up, Danny. You might have to go to the back of the line. <laughs> I, I thought Tarp wanted some of that juice. I thought Tarp wanted some juice. Oh, I'm amped up today. Yes, sir. Not yet. He ain't ready yet. That's all right. When you get ready, come over here. Put your finger in a socket. Put your finger in a socket. I'm going to light that ass up. Go ahead and get your fork. Put your finger in a socket. <laughs> your ass going to be over there. You better get a board. Better get a board. Hit him with a wooden board. I'm going to have him shook, y'all. Come on, Danny. Come on, Mac Lovin. I need some pressure. <laughs> he said I talk a lot. He going to humble my bitch ass soon enough. Yeah, he said he going to humble me soon enough. Man, soon enough can't come fast enough. Soon enough can't come fast enough. Come here. Log on. I got one gigabyte speed, baby. Catch up. Me and that thing like this. With my bitch ass. Gonna be like this. Bow! That was gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. And he gonna be in the Hook City Graveyard. Woo! He gonna be in the Hook City Graveyard. <laughs> he gonna catch that. He gonna catch the fade. Let me tell you what's gonna happen to him. This is a controller, y'all. This is a controller. <sighs> Baba dusted sticks off on him. Up, up, B. That how I'm gonna do him. Up, up, B. And Tarp is gonna hit the mat. He gonna hit the canvas. Up, up, B. That's what I'm gonna do to him. He said the PC crashed, but he back. All right. You gonna end up crashed with the PC. You and the PC gonna be crashed. You come up in here. There go the code. There go the code. You and the PC crashing. You come up in this thing. Ooh, well, you better have you better have your footwork together. You better have your footwork together. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna walk that ass. You better have your footwork together. He pulls his punches. Danny, you got this. Oh my goodness, I pulled my punches. I wish I would pull a punch. I wish I would. Ooh, I let them hooks fly. I let them hooks fly. No discipline ass. Oh. Tarp, where you at, Tarp? Where you at, Tarp, so I can give you this spanking? You're talking back to the battle zaddy. You're talking back to your zaddy. Where you at, Tarp? You need a whooping. You don't talk to the battle zaddy like that. Quit playing. Oh, man. Tarp done grown up. He done grew up. And he think he can talk. I'm still your zaddy. All your life, I'm going to be your zaddy. All your life. I'm going to be your zaddy, son. 
Oh man, before he put me in one. Woo! Oh shit. Code doesn't work. Oh yeah, it worked. What you want? What you want, McLovin? What you want, man? Ooh, we McLovin got a nice, nice little record on him. Man, I better, I better be very careful. I'm gonna be asking for a rematch. Man, no, McLovin got a nice little record on him. He got a nice little record on him. Uh oh. What you, what, what you trying to do, McLovin? I'm definitely gonna be. He said, he said, welter or me. Ooh, you speaking my language. Oh, you speak in my language. Well, I'm going to take you straight to Welter. I'm going to take you straight to Welter. <clears throat> you got first pick, homie. You got first pick. I got to, I got to, let me see what you're going to do. Let me see what you're going to do. I'm giving you first pick, but if you don't want, if you don't want first pick, I'll take first pick. Okay. He comes out. He comes out with the pick. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? He got, he went ahead and got the man, Sugar Ray Leno. So uh I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the other man out. The other man of the hour. I'm gonna bring out old Sergio. I'm gonna bring out old Sergio because I don't like mirror matches. And uh I don't like mirror matches. It ain't no good. And, you know, I could I could bring out Crawford. What y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see Crawford or y'all wanna see y'all wanna see Sergio? Y'all wanna see Crawford or Sergio? I hate Southpaws too. Mac Lovin, who you want to see? He said he want to see he want to see Bud. I think I think Bud li lines up good with uh with Sugar Ray Leonard. It's just that uh in, in a lot of league play, they don't they don't allow Bud. But this ain't no this ain't no league play. So here I am. Here I am, Bud. Here I am. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fuck around and need I'm gonna fuck around and need a I'm gonna fuck around and need a rematch. You seen this dude? McLovin coming up in here 33 and 3. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. McLovin coming up in here 33 and 3, trying to silence the champ. Trying to silence the champ. Let's see if I could take old Sugar Ray Leonard out to the deep water. Have you been to the YMCA? Have you been to the YMCA? You better be Michael Phelps. You better be Phelps. Last I heard, black men don't swim. Last I heard, black men don't swim. What you got? When I get done with you, you gonna be straight out of Compton. Where you at? Where you at? Uh oh, uh oh, head on red. Let's see what he's trying to do, y'all. Let's see what he's trying to do. I'm gonna line them up. I'm gonna line them up. Lil Fro, Lil Fro, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a fresh edge up, Lil Fro. Come here, come here, Lil Fro. Come here, Lil Fro. Oh, I see you try to line me up. I see that. I see you line. I see you lining me up. You on that demon time? You on that demon time, but I'm on that screaming time. I'm on that screaming time. I'm gonna make it holler. What's wrong, Sugar Ray? What's wrong? 
DGL, that's the Dank Gaming League. That's the DGL, the Dank Gaming League. They have fights on Mondays and Fridays. Be there or be square. You want to take my title? Meet me at the DGL. You can beat me up right here all day long in custom matches. If you want to take the crown, work your way up to the top of the ladder and meet me in the DGL. I'm going to take you to Pound Town, baby. I'm going to take you to Pound Town. I'm going to... I'm going to pull that ponytail. You better not show up. <laughs> you better not show up. I'm going to pull on your on your ponytail in public. Come on, sugar. Come on, sugar. try to line me up who are you trying to line me up you ain't got enough power for that you ain't got enough power for all that line up you ain't got enough power what's going on right here what's going on right here i don't know why you want to do that i'm gonna abuse you i'm gonna use you and abuse you why you want to do that why you want to do that i see your head on red I see your head on red like I'm like I'm looking at your screen. Why you want to do that? Your head on red. All right. He want to keep on. That's the way you want to walk. That's the way you want to walk. I'm gonna do you up. Oh, he tried. He tried to piece me up. Oh, he tried to piece me up. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen here, folks. This is real mysterious. This is real mysterious. Not really sure what he's trying to accomplish right here. Not really sure what he's trying to accomplish right there, but you know, I'll go with it. We'll see if he teach me something new. We'll see if he teach me something new. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. I don't know why why he doing it, but we'll see what's going on here. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know what that. Is. I don't know what that's about. I've never seen anybody use this strategy right here. Very very pe peculiar. It's a very peculiar strategy. I mean, if you want to go there, I'll let you go there. If you want to go there, I'll let you. I think it's very strange, though. If that's what you want to do. I'll let you do it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to pick up on it. I see you using a strategy. I just don't know why. I see you coming with it again. Okay, I, I know what I see I see what it is. So yeah, you one of those fight night guys. You one of those fight night guys. I never seen a fight night guy really try to rock it with Sugar Ray with Sugar Ray Leonard. He's a fight night guy. He definitely is a fight night guy. So he trying he trying to rock the fight night strategy with Sugar Ray Leonard. So that 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 kind of tripped me out because of the pick. Cause most fight night guys go with Bud Crawford. Wow. 
Watch out, Fight Night. I already know about that. I know you hear me. I done called you out. I know what the strategy is. So all I can tell you is it ain't going to work, homie. Oh, what? What? I got shadowed. I got shadowed. He must have hit me with a with a left hook. He hit me with the fight night left hook. Yeah, that's what it was. He just threw it. He hit me with the he hit me with the with the left hook, Mr. Fight Night. That's the only thing that could have hit me right there. Yo, what's up? What's up, Camacho? Camacho. Boy, I'm going to get it right one of these days. Camacho, what's up? What's up? Camacho. I'm in here with a beast, man. I'm in here with a fight night beast. He trying to take me out to deep water. I'm in here with a fight night beast. He trying to, he trying to sink. He trying to take me out here. Sink the ship. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm going to try not to let it happen. We're going to see. We in a little bit of, we in a war of attrition right now. We in a war of attrition. Oh, he caught me with that. That's what rocked me right there. That's the shadow punch. That was a shadow punch. You only, only this time I, you seen it. I know exactly what he hit me with. This is a fight night guy right here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mr. Fight Night, I see you. I see you, Mr. Fight Night. Let me go ahead and see if let me go ahead and try to shut that down. Oh, was that enough? I think I think I I think I did a little something. Was that enough? Let me go ahead and shut that down for you, Fight Night. Woo! Woo! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hook City, bitch. Hook City. Huh? Huh? Hook City. What I tell you, cuz? What I tell you? What I tell you? It came real quick. Did you see it? Did you see it? Put it on instant replay. Run it back. Run it back. Dream. Dream, dream, dream. Tarp, this could you this could be you, baby. You could be well rested, Tarp. This could be you. Dream. Dream, dream, dream. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Come sleep with me. Night night time. <laughs> he said put them on Sports Center top five replays. He wanna do it again. He wanna do it again. He's still in love. He's still in love. Yeah, come sleep with me. I said a Glock. Come sleep with me. Come sleep with me. 99 time, baby. Come sleep with me. <laughs> Boy, he's still doing it. 
He's still doing the fight night. He's still doing it. The same thing that got him knocked out, he's still doing it, bro. He's still doing the fight night. He's still doing the fight night. Oh, he called me. He called me. Oh, boy, we got a bad connection, bro. We got a bad connection, man. He, the D, the D sync punches is coming. He caught me. He catching me every time. But I, I'm seeing we got the D, the D sync punches coming, and 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 it's green up there. There's nothing up at the top. There's nothing at the top. But if I'm seeing D sync, he definitely seeing D sync. He caught me though. He fight, he on that fight night. Let's see what he gonna do. Let's see what he gonna do. He trying to line me up. He on that center line. He on the center line. He trying to line me up. Now, now he out here trying to fake. He trying to fake the funk with me. Now he trying to fake the funk with me. I seen him do it. He gave me the stutter. He gave me the stutter step. He tried to fake the funk. I know more than one way to get the fight night. I know more than one way. I know more than one way. That's how I shut down the DGL champ. That's how I shut down the DGL champ. He said he was fight night finest. He said he was fight night finest. I got him with the same damn thing. The same girl that called you, called me. The same girl that called you, called me. Dial up. Dial up. Call the pizza man, bet my phone ring. Call the pizza man, bet my phone ring. She for the streets. The pizza man, that's me. Call the pizza man, bet my phone ring. <laughs> Domino's ever called you? Domino's don't call you? That's me. What is that? Yes, brother, I'm iconic in your server. Thought I'd come check out the stream. What is what is that? That's a weird sentence. Nah, come on, catch the fade. Catch the fade, fight night. Catch the fade, fight night. Come on, come on, catch the fade.
that's how I killed the Fight Night champion. Fight Night Finest got the same call. The Pizza Man. The Pizza Man. If the Pizza Man called you at 12 o'clock, if the Pizza Man called your girl at 12 o'clock, it was me. It was BZ. It was me. The same girl that called you called me. That's a pretty nice record. 33 and 3. Put four on it. Put four on it. Huh? Put four on it. It ain't gonna work over her. It ain't gonna work over her. <laughs> it won't work over here. No, sir. What at? He said, good fight. He said, run it back. Now, now, Danny, now, Danny, you know you got sniffed out, right? Tell the truth. Tell the truth, Danny. You came from fight night, didn't you? Didn't you, Danny? You come from fight night, didn't you? Tell the truth, Danny. You got sniffed out. I thought it was a little weird that you picked Sugar Ray Leonard. Tell the truth, Danny. I give you. <laughs> you got different styles though okay okay i i, I told y'all i told y'all i thought it was a little weird did he put did he pick sugar ray leonard i thought it was a little weird but as soon as i seen the move that he was doing it was a fight night move and i i'm whoop anybody come with them fight night styles i'm beating them i'm beating them up i'm beating them up yes sir i'm beating them up Hey, hold up, hold up, cracking. Danny said he want another fight. I gotta fight Danny. Danny said he need he need uh he need me to run it back. He said good fight. I sniffed him out. It took me a while. I was let he was beating on me. He was beating on me for a little bit. Bink, bink, bink. He was beating on me, but now he wasn't gonna beat the brakes off me. No sir, I wasn't having it. He threw me off with his with, with his pick. The fighter he picked. He threw he threw that shit off. Change the weight class. We can do anything. We can do anything else. All right. You want the weight class change? 10 4. Roger that. We'll go in the we'll go in the lightweight. Lightweight class. I go to lightweight or middleweight. They ba uh, if you go to middleweight, middleweight basically the same thing as welterweight, but it's whatever you want, bro. It's whatever you want. What is going on? There's some there's some weird conversations going on in here. What what is Terrell is black talking about? Alright. You got you got first pick, Meg Lovin. I don't and I don't run mirror matches. What is this guy? Yeah. He's been saying some weird stuff. I have no idea what's going on with him. It's people from the WBC. Oh, I got shouted out. It's from the WBC Discord. Okay, okay. He's iconic, apparently. Man, he ain't 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 no ain't nobody more iconic than Hook City. Well, I tell y'all what, if you have some no shows on your card today. Call me up. Call me up. If you got some no-shows on your on your card today, call up Hook City. Dial me up. Dial up Hook City. Oh, come on, McLovin. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, uh, come on. Chat, tell this guy not to play me versus Canelo. Tell him. Tell him, chat. Chat, tell him. He got to pick somebody else, man. I'm going to destroy you if you pick Canelo, bro. It's over with. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to destroy you, bro. You got to you got to pick a different fighter, bro. This, this is this is a pointless fight. You don't know me like that. You don't know me, bro. I could tell you Canelo for the streets. I could tell you I done dog Canelo out. 
Yes, I'm. Hey, hey, is that a question? Am I good versus Canelo? Is that a is that a real question? That cannot be a real question. Chat, let them know. Chat, I done dogged out every Canelo I'd ever seen. I done drug him. You haven't seen me much. All right, you know what? You know what? Since you ain't seen me much, let me let me go ahead and introduce myself. Let me introduce myself. Since since you act like you don't know, ready up. Ready up so you can go tell somebody. Go tell somebody. Go tell somebody. I need you to clip it. Go tell somebody. Ready up. Go tell somebody about Hook City. Go tell them what I do. I try to warn them. Everybody come in and pick Canelo. I warn them. Every time I warn them. And what they do? They still pick Canelo. They still pick Canelo. I ought to pick a Canelo. I ought to make a, a Canelo graveyard. For everybody that thought they could beat me with Canelo. And I just had his name there. And then everybody named that pick Canelo. Just have a fucking graveyard of motherfuckers that thought Canelo was going to work. Oh, I forget. He's a fight nighter. He he's finna, he's on his catch and shoot. I for I forgot that quick. He was a fight nighter. I forgot that quick. You on that fight night shit? And he trying to line me up. And he trying to line me up. He trying to he trying to first round KO me. Say you want to fight on the card or what? I'll get you on if you want if you're willing to do lightweight. Hell yeah, I'll fight on the card. I'll fight on the card. I'll quit this fight right now. This is just I'm just sparring. I'm just bullshitting. Let me know. Put me on the card. You ain't got no, you don't have no lightweight fighters that's going to take me. Put me on the car right now. I come in and win. You ain't got nobody that's going to take me in lightweight. Promise. There ain't even no southpaws li uh, like that in lightweight. You ain't got no nobody in lightweight that's going to take me out. Ah, I almost got him, but he was up against the rope, man. The rope, you know, the rope gonna do all this bullshit. I was finna get him. <laughs> Yo, Terrell is black. I'll fight anybody you got. I'll fight your whole card on lightweight. You ain't got nobody gonna take me in lightweight. All right, here we go. Here we go. Shit, you could come fight me right now. You could come fight me in the channel. I beat you on the car, off the car, in the car. It don't matter. Been lagging, what it do, baby? What it do?
Man, I'm out. I'm out here teaching Canelo's lessons, one Canelo at a time, bro. One Canelo at a time. I'm out here teaching them lessons. Oh, he caught me with the fade. He caught me with the fade. I'm out here teaching Canelo's lessons, baby. One at a time, baby. What is he catching me with? I know we having some desync right there, but I'm trying to figure out what punch is he throwing. Is he? I think he catching me with the lead body uppercut. Yeah, he yeah he was catching me with the lead body uppercut. I'm like, why am I getting stunned? He said, "What's happening? In? What's happening?" In? One Canelo at a time, baby. I told I told the Canelos to stay at home. I told them to stay at home. I can't believe I can't believe that McLovin is is so effective with his fight night shit. Uh, <laughs> it's actually it's actually surprising me. Most most of the fight night shit, like it shit ain't even as effective as as he doing it right now. But he's he's having some he's having some pretty good success with his with his fight night style. He's having some success. But I'm finna I'm finna sauce him a little bit. I'm finna sauce him some. Oh man. There it go. He didn't he didn't I he didn't even get to the sauce. He didn't even make it to the sauce. I was finna sauce him up, but he didn't make it. He didn't make it to the sauce, man. Some some, some he's you know, I ain't gonna lie, Mac Mac Lovin is he pretty nice. He got some timing on it. He got a little timing on it. He got a little timing on it. But Canelo was not that guy. You see right there? Boy, you almost dead. That was a KO punch. You was almost dead. That was even a little foreshadow. I gave you the foreshadow. You still took it. You still took it. Some some of his fight night shit is actually is actually working. It's actually working. I just I had to be a little bit. I said I got lurked. I appreciate you, big dog. Some of his fight night shit work. No lie. I have to be very careful of him, but he's still he's still a Canelo, and he's still gonna take the L because those fight night tendencies will get you will get you dropped in Hook City. Those fight night tendencies will get you knocked out in Hook City. Oh, what? You keep on giving me the fight night, bro. You keep on giving it to me. I will not. I will not. Oh. Oh, no. I said I wouldn't. I said I wouldn't when I would. I said I wouldn't when I would. He threw that thing a little early. He, do, he threw that thing a little early. I ain't, I ain't trying to give it to him. I see what he's trying to do. I'm going to shut it down. Oh, wait, wait. He going for it again. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. He tried he try to rush me with the same thing. He tried to rush me with the... <laughs> he 
He tried to rush me with the same girl, y'all. The same girl. He tried to rush me with the same girl, y'all. Come on, Mac Lovin. Canceled again. DCA out here struggling, bro. Oh, he caught me upside the head. Whoops, upside the head. Oh, and he put me down. And he put me on the mat. Someone got in a car accident. What one of the one of the promoters? It couldn't have been a fighter. It had to have been a promoter or or the person that uh the commentator or something like that. You know, I've never seen. Oh, shit. He hit me with that motherfucking deep sink punch. Hit me with that desync punch. <laughs> All right. He do got some different styles, man. Loving, make McLovin got some change ups. He do got some chain up, some change ups. I can't even take that from him. I see him doing some different shit. He got some different fight night shit. But I think I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him slipping. Ooh, I'm going to catch him slipping or he going to catch me slipping. One or the other. We're going to see. Oh. oh, he got me. He caught me slipping, yo. Man, Lovin got it. I probably won't get it. I won't get up. I won't get up. I don't think I'm gonna get up. Yeah, I didn't get up. Man, Lovin got it. He got me with the fight night moves. He got me with the hezzy. He got me with the hezzy. He switched it up on me a couple of times. And I and I honestly forgot that that uh when he picked Canelo he wasn't gonna be a traditional Canelo, that he was gonna. Oh, I'm def hey I'm definitely Canelo destroyer. I forgot that you was that you was not gonna come in like a traditional Canelo and that you was gonna come in with a fight night Canelo and it and it caught me off guard from the beginning. But like I said, run it back. Run it back. I will definitely take out your Canelo. You got me like the like I was already deep in my stand pool when I realized you was gonna hit me with the fight night shit. Oh yeah, you're good. You're definitely good. No lie, I, I ain't I ain't gonna shortchange you none, man, loving. You got some skill. And the reason why I say you have some skill. Is you use you have the fight night shit going on, but 
you're able to level change. You you uh you don't do the same shit. You able to you gave me you gave me some different looks, some he- some hesitations. I don't I think I'm getting a little sick. I got like a little like uh some drainage or something going on in my nose when I'm talking. But uh yeah, you're able to let to level change better than most fighters that I see. So that tells me that you got you got a high skill level. Because you didn't you didn't get shut down on uh when I took one thing away from you, you didn't get shut down. You uh you switched it up. You switched it up. So I like that. Oh my bad. I like that you switched it up. Ah, uh, you know what you got me on too. You know, Sugar Ray Leonard is is weaker. He said, "Be back in one minute." Sugar Ray Leonard is weaker in middle in the middleweight than he is in the uh, in the lightweight. He's a weak. He's a weaker fighter in middleweight. But it's still, I should, I still should be able to uh, to take him out. Or just fight him with, with fucking Sergio. Yeah, actually, Sergio Sergio would be more viable middleweight than Sugar Ray Leonard would be. <laughs> but I don't know if uh, I haven't really done a competitive uh, Sergio versus uh. Mac Love and I haven't really done it competitive. Should I should I should I chance it? Should I I don't know if I should chance it. I think I would just go back to Sugar Ray Leonard because I, I wanna I wanna beat up his uh Canelo. And then if uh I want to beat up his Canelo, and then if it works, I guess, if it works and he wants to fight again, then uh, if he wants to spar again, maybe I'll try, uh, maybe I'll try the other guy, uh, Sergio. <sighs> maybe I'll give him the Sergio, because Sergio would definitely be more valuable in this situation. He said, he said, let's get McLovin in the EBL. McLovin, McLovin, they calling your name. They want to see you in the boxing league, McLovin. They want to see you in the league. They want to see you fight. They see your skills as valuable. They see you valuable, bro. So you got to get in some of the leagues, bro. I I could tell that you were that you were a skilled fighter. You definitely not no low tier fighter. You're not even a you're not even a mid tier fighter. At the bare minimum, you uh, at the bare minimum, you're a, a, a bottom of the top end, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> at the at the bare at the bare minimum, you at the bottom of eighth gear. <laughs> BZR needs some competition. <laughs> at the bottom, at the bare minimum, I think you I think you's a high skill a high skill fighter, man, love, and I, I I definitely seen you uh hit me with the change ups, but uh like I said. I forgot at the beginning of the last match you was on that fight night shit and caught me slipping for a minute. So let me see if I can mop you up from the beginning. Let me see if I can mop you up from the beginning. Let's go. Let's go. Most undisputed fighters are not on that fight night shit. So I had to change up uh I had to change up my strategy. Oh god. Those fight night guys are all fucking lefties. They're all lefties, man. That shit kills me. They're all lefties. I can't believe he got me with that bitch twice. 
Well, I, cli I clipped him with the first one, and then he came back with it. I'm telling you right now, don't call her. Don't call her. If you call her, I'm sending you to Hook City. Don't call that girl. Don't call her. Ah, oh, he clipped me. He clipped me and slowed me down. Don't call that girl. Don't call that girl. Don't call that girl. We gonna go. We gonna go to the next round. We gonna take it to the next round, Mac Eleven. I have to be careful with you, Mac Eleven, because like I said, you. I I realize you a high skilled fighter. I realize you on you on you on the next level. You definitely on the next level, bro. So I can't play with you. I can't play with McLovin. He really, he really trying to knock me off top. I can't play with him. I see you doing I see you doing a few things wrong, Mac Love, and I see you doing some some shit wrong right now. If you want to take some advice from me, I'll give it to you. Afterwards. But I know most fighters. They don't want to hear no advice until they get whooped. When they get KO'd, then they might listen. Then they might listen after they get KO'd, but they got to get knocked out before they listen. That's just a that's just a trait of a boxer, I guess. Somebody that's a real fighter, they not they ain't trying to hear shit unless you can beat them. Unless you can whoop me, you can't talk to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, man, love it be on some whole nother shit, bro. Man, love it be on some whole nother shit. He was trying to. That boy be cute. Man, love him be cute when he fighting, bro. He tried. He tried to hit me with the cute shit, bro. He hit the lean back. 
he was leaning back. And then he like, yeah, I'm finna call her. I'm on the phone with her. I'm finna call your chick. <laughs> he tried to get cute with me, bro. He did. He tried to get cute with me. I seen it. I peeped the game, bro. I peeped the game. He tried to get real cute with me. I peeped game, man, loving. I peeped game. I peep game, bro. I, I respect. I, I respect it. He was trash talking in the ring. He was. He was trash talking in the ring. But I know a number by heart. That's your girl. Nine seven two five four five one six eight nine. That's her. That's her. Yeah. Yeah. I got your girl number. <laughs> oh, he hit me with a one two power. With a one two power. Oh, I tell you, Mac, Mac Lovin got some looks, bro. I ain't seen nobody dial up no one two power on me. He got some looks. What you gonna do though? You gotta be craftier than that. Let me see something else. Cause right now you fin you you in the trap. You in the trap right now. Now you done fell in the trap. This is where this is where Canelo dies. You in the Canelo death trap now. You in the death trap now. You in the Nello death trap now. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? This is where Canelo goes down. I can feel I done got in his head. I done got in his head. I got in his head. Canelo back foot heavy, that mean, that mean he don't want none. When Canelo back foot heavy, he's done. Every time you see a Canelo back foot heavy, he's done, bro. I smell blood. That's how you destroy a Canelo. If he back foot heavy, he's over with. You think I don't know? You think I don't know? Oh, I know, baby. Trust me. I main Canelo for like, for like 60 days, bro. Trust me. Trust me. You in the ring with the polar bear with red hair. You can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. Canelo out in the deep water right now. He out in the deep water. Yeah. Let's see if that Mexican shark can swim. Let's see if he can swim. I'm finna take him out the salt water. Put them in some fresh water. Huh? Huh? Can that can that shark swim in fresh water? Can he swim in the fresh water? Let's see if he can swim. Yeah, I got a Canelo killer. That's what he said. He said, I thought you was a Canelo killer. Oh, he feeling real dead right now. He feeling real dead right now. I bet he won't try it again. After this, after this show out, ask me. Hey, ask him if he'll try it again. After this showing, will he Canelo against Sugar Ray Leonard again? I guarantee you won't. I guarantee you won't. I guarantee you he'll say this is a bad matchup. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. It's a bad matchup. This is a Canelo killer. Tell the truth. That man hurt. He don't know what to do. He so hurt, he went to the one-two power. He did a one-two power. He was so hurt. He tried to end it. He tried to end it early with a one-two power. Heavy, heavy back foot. It's over with, Nello. It's over with. Tell the truth, McLovin. Tell the truth. All I want you to do now, I, I concede that you a high-level fighter. Concede that that matchup is terrible. Tell the truth. That you entered Hook City. Tell the truth. Tell the people. Tell the people that that shit will never work against Sugar Ray Leonard. Tell the truth, bro. Tell the truth. I just want to hear it. Now, I said he a high-level fighter. Esports Boxing League, go ahead and pick him up. Pick him up. But when you enter the league, that's what, that's what I said, yeah. When you enter the league, I never want to see you pick Canelo in that matchup. 
If I ever, if I ever go to an esports boxing league and I see Danny is McLovin as Canelo versus Sugar Ray Leonard, I promise you, I'm gonna DM you on spot, on site, bro. I'm gonna DM you on site. You better not do it. You can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. If I see you in that matchup again, I'm gonna DM you on site. You know, you know, you know how how I'm not. You know, I'm telling the truth right now. I just hit follow on your name. I hit follow on your name. If I see you in that matchup again, I'm gonna DM you on site. You gonna catch? <laughs> Let's reverse the matchup, man. I'm gonna die. I'll reverse it, but I'm dead, man. I'm not gonna win that matchup. You know what? You know what? I do know how I could beat. I could beat Sugar Ray Leonard, but any Sugar Ray Leonard that gets on a back foot, you cannot win. You cannot win. You're never gonna chase down Sugar Ray Leonard on the back foot. It's not gonna work. And that's a problem with the game. But I'll do it. I'll do it for the sake of, you know, you want to do like a, a little chemistry test or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to mix the chemicals and shit. You want to be Bill Nye the science guy? Let's go, Bill Nye. If you get if you get in the phone booth with Canelo, I, I, I highly suggest you I highly suggest you not get in the phone booth with me i don't know about anybody else but i highly suggest before you enter this fight do not get in the phone booth with me if you do powder powder if you do my pimp he ain't gonna be strong i've been pimping since pimping been pimping Fight fans, I have a feeling that Mc, McLovin is going to go against my better judgment. I have a feeling he's going to go against my better judgment and he's going to get in the phone booth. I just, for some reason. <laughs> nah, you're good, bro. You're good. But I'm telling you, if you get in the phone booth with me, you're going you gonna to look like, like hot jello, like dookie juice. You better not get in the phone booth with Canelo. If you get in the phone booth with me, I'm a, I'm on I ooh. I'm gonna knock the soul out of you, bro. I'm gonna knock the soul out of you. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. You better stay on the back foot. You better stay on the back foot. If you come in here cock strong, you better not come in here cock strong, bro. You better not come in here like that. Don't do it. You better stay back foot. I told you not to do it. You almost died on the first punch. You almost died on the first punch. I told you don't do it. All right. You want a phone booth with me? He wants the phone booth with me. He wants the phone booth with Canelo. All right. Watch what's going to happen. Watch what's going to happen. These are not healthy transactions. 
These are not healthy transactions. Now me, Mac Lovin, fighting me, you go, you it would be in your best interest to go 12 rounds. You better go 12 rounds. Because if you come in the pocket with me, bro, I'm going to break you down. I'm going to take you apart screw by screw. I'm going to pull the muffler off. I'm going to pull the headers off. I'm going to get in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take one of your damn spark plugs out. You're going to be on seven cylinders. Fucking, seven cylinders. <laughs> That's all right. I'm talking to the fans. You're going to be on seven cylinders fucking around with me. You ain't going to be no V8 no more. You better not. You better not. You come up in here and you will not be a V8. I promise you. You're going to be sputtering like a motherfucker. Yo, what's up, Briz? I try to tell, I try to tell this young man to stay away from Canelo. I try to tell him, stay on the outside. If he try to fight me at all, I'm going to knock him out. He better run the entire fight. He better run. Everybody can't do what I do. Everybody can't be Hook City. Everybody can't be Hook City, y'all. Ah, damn. Look at him. Look at him. I told him. I told him. I told him don't come up in here. I told him if he got in the phone booth, with me, not Canelo, if he got in the phone booth with me, I'm going to send him to Hook City. I told him, stay on the outside. Don't come in here. You better run. You better go 12 rounds or you're going down. I told him I'm going to give him the bear claw. He ain't listen. He ain't listen, y'all. Now look at him. Now look at him. Now look at him. Now it's over with. He come up in here, it's over with. I'm going to slap him one time. I'm going to put him on the ground. Now it's over with. Now he trying. Now he, it's too late, bro. It's too late. I told this man. I told this man. Y'all been sitting right here with me the whole time. The whole damn time. I told this man. I told this man that my Canelo going to make your ass. I'm going to run you up out the gym. I told you my Canelo going to run you up out the gym. I'm finna get them rib cage. I'm finna get that rib cage. I'm finna get it. That boy hurt. He on a little, he, he heavy back foot. Heavy back foot. Yo, Steel City. Steel City Interactive. Help me out. Help me out, Steel City. Canelo can't chase down an injured opponent. Why is that, Steel City? Help me out. Help me out. Can we get some leg stamina? I got an injured opponent. He moving at 100%. Help me out, Steel City. This band is cooked. Fork in it. Help me out. I told that man, do not get in the phone booth with me. I told that man. Yes, loose movement needs a fatigue system. Yes, sir. And if it had one... I would main Canelo and I'd be knocking motherfuckers out left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Up and down. It would look just like that. Look at him. Stiffed in the motherfucker. Laid out. Looking at the sky. Looking at the stars.
I try to help my mans out. I try to help him out. <laughs> I told him I got the sauce. I told him I got the sauce. The man know a little bit about boxing, I can see. He knows something about boxing, I can see. Now see, this is a conversation that uh, yo, Duke, Duke, is you in the uh, is you in the chat? Is you in the uh, in the Discord? You watching this fight? I know you are watching the fight, but I need to talk to you in the Discord. Right after this fight, I need to talk to you. Now, I know we was doing this. We was doing this for a science experiment. He said he wanted me to fight against him. <laughs> he said, damn, you could. Yeah, I know. That's why I told you, you have to stay on the outside. It's a bad matchup for Canelo, but I know what I'm supposed to do. Now, if you're an honorary fighter and you want to get on the inside and mix it up with Canelo, bro, you better be a beast in a phone booth. But most people... Can't beat me in a phone booth with no fighter, no way, no how. Most people cannot beat me in a phone booth. And I would never suggest that Sugar Ray, that any Sugar Ray Leonard fighter get in a phone booth with Canelo. It's not evenly matched. But you can hurt Canelo early on and then bring him outside and knock him out. But you should never mix it up with Canelo early uh in the first round, you should never get in the phone booth with Canelo in the first round. You got to hurt him first and then take him out to deep water and knock him out. You got to kite him. You play some RPG games, you know what kiting is. You got to hurt him a little bit and then kite Canelo. That's how you beat him. You got to kite him. Well, well, well. Yes, he is. Any matchup. Let me see. I got to talk to my boy real quick. Hold on. Let me let me get in on the Discord. I got to talk to my boy real quick. I thought. Oh, yeah. I got my shits. Hey, there he is. Oh. Hey. Hey, uh, move, move down one with me, uh, uh, dude. Hey, dude. You want a rematch? You could get a rematch with me, uh, PO, POA. Let me let me get it going. PO, POA or a uh, tarp? Y'all said y'all said y'all want a song. POA and tarp said they want a song. Shit, here go the code. Here go the code. I got some for the gingerbread man. Gingerbread man, run, run as fast as you can. I got some for Humpty Dumpty. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, I'ma pull your head. There go POA. He said he want the rematch. Yo, uh, Duke, you up in here? I can't hear you, Duke, if you're talking. What the hell? 
Well, fuck it then. I'll just do this. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? That, uh, that other channel didn't work, huh? The, the voice didn't work in it? Who the? Oh, okay, okay. Let me, uh, give me one second. Let me see what this guy, what he wants to uh, fight as. Um, uh, POA, you want to fight as heavyweight or you want to do middleweight or what? What you, what you, what you trying to fight as? Yo, everybody, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat, man. There's a lot of viewers up in here. Y'all come to see Hook City. Y'all come to see Hook City. I got a few challenges. Step right up. Step right up. You got to be this tall to ride a ride. If you four, if you four foot nine, looking like a oopa loopa, probably got lightning hands, standing southpaw, get up out of here. Oh, uh, what's going on, POA? Uh, POA, what you want to do, man?
Yeah, G G G purist. I didn't realize it was you until like the tenth round. I looked up. I'm like, yo, that's the that's the purist I'm fighting. G G man. Oh man, and I uh thank you for the follow, man. I've been I've been forgetting to say thanks for the follow to people. Thank you for the follow, the Purest Gamer, uh Esports Boxing League. Thank you for the follow, even though that was 30 minutes ago, 37 minutes to be exact. Thank you for the follow, uh Ben K, even though that was uh like an hour ago, it says after the fact. If you're still up in here, uh Landon 1K, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, being up in here, and Danny McLovin coming up in here and, and really showing out, showing out them uh them fight night moves, bringing bringing extra level changes and shit, getting real shifty with it. Um.
GG? GG? What are you talking about? POA? It's over with? You better keep throwing them things. All right, my bad, man. I was trying to, I was trying to handle some business. Um, that was some uh, MBK business. I was talking, I was talking to MBK business. Um, personal stuff. That my fight camp. I fight for MBK. Fight for myself too, but I fight for the squad. Um, man, there is no way in hell. P O A pick. Goddamn Carl Frotch versus me versus me not even versus Sugar Ray Leonard you pick some Frotch versus me man I wish I would lose some some, some damn Frotch I'm not I'm not gonna lose you talking about you want some get back with with Carl Frotch man what's wrong with you this man said he wants some get back with with Frotch what's your favorite combos for a KO Steezo. Steezo said, what's my favorite combo for a KO? Shit, everybody done seen Hook City. Everybody done seen Hook City. Um KOs, KOs come in different different ways in this thing, man. Um I wouldn't say there's only there's only one per se combo that I that I actually have. Like one combo, I run it. I run it forwards and I run it backwards. Uh, outside of that, at any time you you could get pieced up with one punch. In this game, you could get knocked out with one punch. So uh, I wouldn't say that I have a favorite. 
a favorite combo. You might say I have a favorite punch. And if, and if uh, like, do I have a satisfying punch? Hell yeah, I have a most satisfying punch. You want to see it? That one right there. That's my most satisfying punch. If I KO you with that, I feel like I, I fucking did something. That one right there, I like that one too. But that's just like a regular KO punch. You know, like anybody could do it. You just got to know what you're doing. Anybody could do it. But the but the one I did before, I, I, I go ahead and tell you exactly how to do it. I'm going to tell you. Here's the controller. This is, this is your stick for movement. This is the one that you walk around with. You got vertical straight up and down and horizontal left to right so what i'm saying my favorite punch is vertical up up that's a quick step a up up a that's my most satisfying punch if i knock you out with an up up a i'm happy i'm looking i'm i'm sniffing i'm sniffing out for an up up a ko if i see you if I see you misstep, if I see you with your hands down, if I see you clowning around, I'm finna up up a yo ass quick. I'm finna send you to Hook City quick. That's the one I want to get. I want to put you on a highlight reel. But I don't land it every single fight. But that's the one that I want that I want to get you with. I want to get you with the up up a. <laughs> That that's that if you if you get caught with the up up a boy I'm styling and profiling. I'm styling and profiling, baby. Shit, what y'all doing? What y'all doing, man? Who who's next? Who's next? Where's the next Oompa Loompa at? Where's the next Oompa Loompa? They ain't we going to the chocolate factory? No, we not. Somebody want to fight. Somebody want to get knocked out. Where you at? Where you at, baby? He said, I'll try lightweight. Step right up. Step right up. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Lightweight it is. I'm about it, about it. I ain't going to play no games with you. I already got my fighter and everything. Go ahead, hop up in here. Ricky Haddon, a lightweight. Pick anybody you want. Pick anybody you want. You could do it. You could do it with, with George Linares. You could come in here with, with Bud Crawford. You could, you could come in here and get Sugar Ray Robinson. I'll take anybody, anybody want to fight me, I'm going to take Ricky Haddon against the field. Ricky Haddon against the field, baby. Any fighter you want, Ricky Haddon versus the field. If I, re if I really want to, if I really want to take you out, I think I can get it done with Ricky. If I really want to, if I really want to just, if I really want to style and profile on you, I think Ricky's the man. I think Ricky's balanced enough. If I if I play my cards right, I'm gonna bust you up. Ricky versus the field, y'all. Ricky versus the field. You don't know about Ricky Haddon? Sit back and watch. Sit back and watch. I'm tell you right now, you come up in here with some motherfucking Ryan Garcia, I'm gonna bury your ass. Okay, he went to George Linares. That's a good pick. I hate lightning hands. That's a really good pick. He's a very strong fighter. So I gotta be on my P's and Q's. I gotta dot my I's and cross my T's versus George Linares. That's a very good fighter. Let's see what I could do to him. I gotta work this man. <laughs> what 
We on 1.5 stamina. 1.5 stamina. Read all about it. 1.5 stamina. Here we go. Shit, I'm gonna let you shake it off. Shake it off. Walk that shit off. Walk it off, baby. I gave you a freebie. I gave you one freebie. I told you to shake it off. Now you're gonna have to dust off your knees now. You didn't got it, you didn't got down there on your back. You're gonna have to dust your knees off now. That first one I let you stand up. Dust your knees off. Let's go. Man, man, hey. Knees like Megan. Knees like Megan. Get your knees together. What's up with it? I know your head on red. Your head on red. Your head on red. Yo, thank you for the follow, Miami. Boy, you see his neck got loose. You see his neck got loose. That motherfucker. Oh, oh, oh. That man, that man, man, will hurt. You ain't see his neck get loose. I seen it get loose. Neck was loose as hell. Monkey on the stick. Monkey on the stick. I got him in slow motion, y'all. Look at him. He wincing over there. <laughs> he said, first time on 1.5 stem? Yeah, bro. 1.5 stem is rough. I punish you. It's over with. Look at his face. Look at his face, y'all. Look at his face. Oh, he rocks me. Lightning hands. Lightning hands is going. All right, Blunted. All right, Blunted. What's up? Yeah. Oh, you can only make so many mistakes. You can only make so many mistakes when you on 1.5 stand. You can't make that many mistakes. You get knocked out. The KOs come faster. The punishment comes faster. Oh, right there. Right there. He almost went to sleep. Power straight. Oh, I did it again. I missed. I went over his shoulder. Oh, he ate a flush one. He ate two flushings. Two flushings. Uh-oh. And there he goes. There he goes, boy. There he goes. He said he down for a match at middleweight. Bring it, Miami. Bring it, Miami. I'm going to send you to Hook City. I'm going to send you to Hook City. I'm going to let you know, Miami, you can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. I got you up next. I got you up next, Miami. 
pay pay play close attention Miami pay close attention play close attention the same girl that called you called me Come on, George. Come on, George. George, you got that arm fatigue real bad. I hit you all in the head like five times before you could even swing. You were swinging like this. And I hit you with the matrix punches, bro. I was in the matrix. Neo was just hitting you. Bow. Come on, baby. <laughs> he said not any good on 1.5. You can't make no mistakes. No mistakes, baby. No mistakes. All right, step right up. Step right up, Miami. Step right up. Miami, on, on God, Miami, if you come up in here, four foot nine, lightning hands in South Paul, I'm going to kick your oompa loompa ass so goddamn far. There you go. You must be this tall to ride a ride. This tall. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand, Blunty. All right, Miami got Miami. Miami got some got some fights under his belt. Yeah, it's different, bro. That the KO come real fast with 1.5 stam. The KO come fast, bro. It come fast. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. Move your head. Move your head. He said middleweight. Middleweight 12 rounds. 1.5. 1.5. Choose your fighter. The KO comes real fast, Miami. 1.5 damn, 1.5 damage, 1.5 stamina. Don't make no mistakes. Oh, and it pulls out the Roy Jones with the Philly shell. What happened? Oh, I got a pick. All right. Uh, what should I get him with? What should I get him with? I'm gonna box him up with uh, I, I box him up. I could box him up with Sugar Ray. I'm not going to come out with the Southpaw shit because you didn't come out with the Southpaw shit. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I could box him up with Sugar Ray. I could do it with a... Uh, man, ain't no way in hell I'm coming out with some motherfucking frotch. I'm not coming out with no... You want me to come out with frotch? Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. The first... Oh, shit. With the... The extra going to be my first. You want me to come out with some frotch, bro? What frotch do? Fuck it, I'll, I'll play Frotch. He said come out with some Frotch. Okay, I'll play Frotch. Frotch versus Frotch versus Roy Jones. He said come out with Frotch. I got you, homie. I got you. Move your head. Move your head. You zig when you should have zagged. Bob and weed, baby. Yo, can Frotch take him to Hook City? Can Frotch take him to Hook City? Yo, I'm, do I'm doing good, Polish. How you doing, bro? I seen you come in here. Oh, I seen you come in here earlier. I think I might have been talking to somebody on Discord or something like that, man. I'm sorry if I if I ignored you, man. I wasn't I wasn't uh speaking to you. I seen you come in here earlier. What's up, Angles TV? Telling me with telling me to go with the Frotch pick. All right, Ang Angles, I got you. Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be in your channel. I'm gonna be in your channel. Yeah. You're going to be on some George Davy when I get through with you. <laughs> I 
Woo, this boy slow. I should have looked at all his stats. Golly, he's slow. He said, he said, Davy, nice with it. I'm going to have you using that, that ugly, that ugly southpaw. Where the sounds at? You not hearing the sounds? I heard it. I can hear the sounds. Y'all can't hear it? I fixed it. The sounds work for me. Are uh, the game muted? I'm going to have to find out how to, uh, how to unmute it. Oh, you can't hear, you can't even hear the game at all? Man, why ain't y'all said something? Y'all knuckleheads. Y'all just now telling me all you hear is me clicking the buttons. Y'all probably hear me fart. Y'all hear me burp up in here and everything. Y'all hearing all the extra sounds and shit. He said, I don't even like the end game sounds. I don't either, bro. The crowd be too loud and shit. Moby Dick with a stick. Let me see if I can find the sounds, bro. This is the desktop audio right here. There we go. You should be able to hear the desktop audio now. There it is. Say you're the champ. Yeah, I'm the champ, baby. I'm the DGL champ. He's saying he won. You won in the 10th round. Who you fight? Who you fighting, Kraken? You got co controversial wins. Slow as hell, bro. Man, they just be mad. People in this game just be mad at winners, bro. They just mad because you're the winner. Ah, oh, damn. I played a streamer and him and his chat bitched after I won. Man, I'll be worrying about that, man. Don't be worried about the chat. Make that man take that L. Make that man take that L. Make him take an L. Now I'm gonna have to whoop. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have to send Roy Jones to Hook City like this, but he done knocked me down and shit. Now I gotta, I gotta take him out, bro. I gotta take him out. I didn't wanna do this to Roy, but I'm gonna hook Roy ass to death. Oh my goodness, Roy come over the top on me. Roy come over the top on me. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble with his OP ass. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Boy, I'm finna whoop Roy ass. Come on, Frotch. Get it together, Frotch. Get it together, Frotch. That Philly shell ain't shit. Get it together, Frotch. Light his ass up. Paparazzi, Frotch. Paparazzi. Paparazzi, Frotch. Light him up. I ain't worried about no Roy Jones Jr.
Not worried about no damn Roy Jones Jr. paparazzi. Take them pictures. Come on with it. Come on with it. I'm finna put him on a poster. I'm finna dunk on his ass. Fuck it, I don't want to have to beat him like this, but this the only shit that work. He got that fucking Philly shell, so I gotta beat it. I gotta beat his damn head. Yeah, you better. Yeah, that's what you better do. You better. You better block your head. Yo, man, I'm telling you, J Locks, J Locks stream is crazy, bro. He come with all the shit, bro. I mean, with all the all the smoke. I love his stream, man. He be making it like. He make it fun, bro. He had all the cool shit. You know, I just be talking shit, but he got the pictures and every damn thing. He got the girls coming up, the money, the money flying shit, the stripper. He got everything on the game show, bro. I'm like, how do you got all that shit? He got everything. If y'all ain't ever seen J-Locks, yo, type it in the chat. Shout out J-Locks Gaming. Yeah, <laughs> he got the A1 production. Type it in the chat. Shout out. J Locks production, bro. I'll be putting people on the J Locks. I told you what Frost was gonna do. I was gonna beat that Philly shell up. What I tell you? What I tell you? I'm gonna mop up that Philly shell. I'm just gonna keep going at your head. I'm gonna keep going at your head. Ah, there he is. There he is. J Lock Gaming up in here. Yo, everybody in the chat, give J Lock Gaming a follow. Get that man a follow. He got the A1. Shout out. Shit, hold up. Okay, it we went to uh I'ma shout him out right now. Bro, you ain't you think I talk a lot of shit? You ain't seen entertainment until you seen J Locks game uh gaming shows. You ain't been entertained. Go check that man out. Get that man a follow. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, lessons. Thank you, lessons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, J Lock got the good comedy, bro. He got the good comedy. You know what I, I like the most? I like when he throw the girls up on the stream. He had all the girls on the stream, and then he got the money falling and shit. Oh my god, that shit is so funny, man. He had, he got a little bit of everything. He got all the little Friday references and shit. He got everything on that. That shit be hilarious. I'm finna, I'm finna knock your head off, Roy. I'm finna knock your head off, Roy. I'm not having it. Yeah, I appreciate your lessons. Did you, uh, you get to see the fight lessons? Did you see the fight? I took out uh, Fight Night's Finest. Dude, you're straight up funny. I wish I had the same energy. <laughs> definitely, he he definitely he got he got it down, man. He got it down. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I gotta ah. Ah, 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 there it is. Damn, I couldn't finish him. Get up out of here, bro. Where you at? not gonna get me i got the bell on my side he said i did see the fight good dub man i'm a mod there oh, okay you was a mod oh you know cody for like six years all right lessons all right lessons i see good fight uh right person 
Yeah, man. Hey, hey, lessons, man. They were trying, they were trying to talk bad on me. And y'all, you seen, you seen, I shut them down, right, lessons? I, I, he come out there with the fight night left hook, and I shut him down. And then, and then he was mad. He was mad because he couldn't throw his left hook. Tell the world, tell the world, I shut him down. Tell the world, I shut that left hook down. He was mad. He couldn't get me with the fight night move. Tell the world that man got shut down. Boy, they were heated. <laughs> it definitely ain't fight night, bro. He tried to catch me with the left. He tried. He kept trying to push me on the left, but I shut that shit down. I said, "Get that shit out. Get get that shit out of here." Threw that left hand down. Took him to Hook City. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Man, quit playing. Quit playing with me. Took that boy straight to straight to Hook City. He didn't have no tools in his bag, bro. No tools. I put that left hand down. He was sitting there looking stupid. Said, who do you think the best, the best players? Who, who do you think are the best players doing that league stuff? Man, I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm gonna tell you straight up. You looking at two of them right here, myself and Angles TV. Some of the, some of the best fighters. On stream, they fight every day. Angles really ain't being in the in the league play uh, just just yet, but I think he's gonna get in the league play. You're looking at two of the best of them right here, BZR and Angles TV. And then I got a I got a shout out Slayer. Slayer's one of the best of them out there doing it right now. Uh, he's in the league, and uh. Some of the best, best fighters. Uh, let me see. I said me, Angle Slayer. Uh, there's somebody. There's somebody else out there. Let me see. Let me see. You know what? I've been hearing of uh Reek. You know Reek beat me uh early. Early, I think it was my my third my third uh competition fight. And Reek whooped me, man. And I've and I've heard I heard Reek uh whoop Joe, uh Reek from Jab. So I think Reek Reek is probably a very top level fighter out here. And that's probably that's probably uh like my top fighters: myself, Angles TV, Slayer, Reek. Those are the guys that I would say, yeah, they up there. You know, uh, you know what? And I had a I had a really hard fight against uh Loso. Loso uh, is Loso also in is he in jab? Loso isn't in jab. What's Loso in? Loso's in uh Loso's in a different group. He ain't in jab. Loso's a part of uh Yeah, Kingdom. I had a real hard, I had a, a hard fight against Loso, man. He damn near, he damn near picked my pocket. I ain't gonna lie, it was close. It was hella close. I've gotten better since that fight, but man, he almost drugged my ass. He almost, Loso almost drugged my ass. He almost got me for six for six hundred bits, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Loso was putting them hands on me, and and I was a little bit worried. I was pretty sure I had to fight. But I paid him 100 bits for the fight, and I said if he knocked me out, I had to pay him 500 more bits. Loso almost drugged my ass for 600 bits. No lie. <laughs> yeah, GG, Miami, GG.
Yeah, a lot of people are not used to the uh, 1.5 stamina, man. A lot of people, they see that 1.5 stamina. They see that 1.5 stamina, and man, they, they have a hard time with that shit. They have a real hard time with that. Hey, What's up, man? Can I go swim with my friends? Man, what's the temperature? Ain't it cold outside? Somebody going some swimming right now? Hell no. It's hot outside. It's hot? Yeah. Nah, to me, like, it's hot. It's, to you, it's hot? Yeah, I ain't asking you. I'm finna ask the app. Hell no, you can't go. Let's say it's 50 degrees out there, bro. You ain't going outside swimming. Hey, Dad. What, baby? Why did it touch my face? Quinn. Huh? Quinn. Man, you hear this? You hear, you hear this boy? He talking about it's it's fifty degrees outside. He want to go swimming. Man, he crazy as hell. That, that's my son. Have I played you yet, the goose? No, you have not. You should reset your game. You can hear the breathing glitch. Yeah, yeah, I hear the dude breathing real hard. Nah, he ain't finna be out of school all week. He finna be in school, half dead in class. Pneumonia and all. He finna be half dead in class. Them eye lessons, I'll holler at you. Alright, alright, uh polish, I'll uh I'll holler at you when you come back. Uh yeah, let me go ahead and restart my game. I do got the breathing glitch. Ah right, shit. Um, I have a uh, in the house right now. I got two girls and two boys, but uh, I have four kids of my own, and I have uh, you know, three step kids. So I got seven kids, but at home I got two boys and two girls. Yeah, I got seven. My daughter, she's already grown. Yeah, man, I got a I got a grown daughter. She's twenty two. And uh, I got, uh, you know, my junior, uh, my junior, he don't stay with me. He stay with his mama. Uh, so that's four, four, what did I say? Uh, and my other son, he don't stay with me as well. He stay with his mama. So I got uh, one's grown and two of my boys, they stay with their mamas and the rest of them here. So yeah, I got seven of them, seven of them things. Uh, what's who who got who got a lightweight tournament? Uh, who has a tournament that's gonna be lightweight? Who is that? Who got the lightweight tournament? I'm straight whooping that ass lightweight. I wish somebody would. Uh, <laughs> he said go to swim school. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I've been a daddy for a long time. I've been a daddy longer uh, longer than I have not been a daddy, man. I had a kid. My first kid I had at 15, y'all. My oldest girl, I was 15 years old. You know, and I, I was out there being a fool with it, y'all. I was out there being a fool with it. Uh, I'm 36 now. I've been raising kids all my life. I am so happy. I'm so happy. All these kids finna be grown. Oh, my God. When these kids get grown... Yo, hey y'all, you see down there at the bottom? Feed a fighter. Like, subscribe, and sub. Feed a fighter, y'all. Feed a fighter. When these kids get grown, oh my goodness. Oh my god. I swear. I swear I'm gonna be a full time streamer, man. I'm gonna quit my job. I'm just gonna stream every day, all day, every day. I'm gonna quit my job. I can quit a whole lot faster if y'all feed a fighter. <laughs> I can quit a whole lot faster. <laughs> He said, four kids myself, two boys, two girls, soul custody. Oh, daddy, daddy gang. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, I had, I had custody of uh, all of my kids except for my uh, my youngest son, my junior, my uh, my middle son, bro. 
Man, let me tell you about him, Jay. My middle son, that's the one, my, my youngest son, he named Junior, but my middle son looked exactly like me. He looked just like me. But that boy, yo, he just like his daddy, man. He wanted to get grown too fast. I told him I was trying to look out for him. Yo, uh, Goose, what weight class you want? Oh, WECB? Okay, yeah, I'll be in that thing. Uh, My youngest son, man. Oh, I'm going to pick? All right, we're going to pick lightweight so I, so I can show the people. So I can show the people what I'm talking about. Mr. Ricky Hatton in the building. Uh, Yeah, my middle son, man, he got the tripping, bro. And, you know, I got a... Um, my wife is not his mama, man. Ah, oh, he come out with the Terrence Bud Crawford. All right. You know, he got to acting up, man. Didn't want to listen to my didn't want to listen to my wife and all that. You know what I'm saying? Just just getting out of control. He wanna man up real quick. He wanna talk to girls like his daddy did. He wanna do a whole lot of stuff that I did. I told him, you know, hey, we not having that up in the house, man. And and he wanna do his own thing. So I was like, yo, bro, you gotta you gotta go stay with your mama if you're gonna do all that. You can't stay here. I ain't having it. So uh so so he he uh left up out of here, man. I felt bad that it had to go down like that, but uh you know what? It's a situation where I can't let one kid uh you know ruin ruin the uh the household for the other kids, you know what I'm saying? I uh you know one kid can't can't mess it up for everybody else. And you know how it is being a single father sole custody, you know, all these people try to get in your life and all that. You got to keep these people out your out your life. So he ain't, he ain't want to listen. Yup. That's is that's is that's exactly. Yeah, you you been you been down the same street I been down, man. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That boy hard-headed. He ain't want to listen. All right, I'm finna show y'all how to get it done. I'm finna bust up Bud Crawford. I'm gonna show you how to get it done. You gotta be careful, y'all. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Huh? Don't fight harder. Fight smarter. Fight smarter, not harder. Smarter. Ricky got everything you need. Ricky got everything you need, baby. For y'all that wasn't with me when I when I first when I first purchased Undisputed. This was the first fighter I used. This was this was Mr. Hook City right here. This is the first guy to do it. This is the first guy to do it. Ricky got everything you need, baby. I caught him slipping. Oh shit! He caught me. He caught me. You know what? Uh, I was going to go. I was going up against Zay today. For those of y'all who know Zay, and uh, Zay did that. Zay did some shit to me. Zay line me up so nice. I'm gonna see if I can line up this Crawford like that. I'm gonna see if I can line him up. Zay, Zay, Zay not line me up so motherfucking nice, bro. I'm gonna see if I can get Crawford like that. He said, "You gonna, you gonna win the tournament with Rick?" Hell yeah, I'm gonna win the tournament with Rick, huh? Ricky Hadn't gonna win, baby. Ricky gonna win. Oh, AJ. Are you in the Discord? They in the Discord talking about it right now. They in the Discord talking about it right now, bro. Yeah, get in the Discord, Jay. We got we got some we got some coming up, bro. Ah, you know you know what? It is confusing. It is very confusing. And I'm gonna talk to you about it, man. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna talk to you about it for real, for real.
uh, cause I'm not gonna stream all day today. I, I got a little bit more time, and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna kick it with you. Oh man, come on, baby, come on now, come on now. You see me? Do you see me? Who who? Who that, who that said, who that said Ricky can't get it done? Who that said Ricky can't get it done? Who that? Made me scroll up on the chat. Will it be, it'll be impressive? It will be impressive. Ricky can get it done, baby. Let me put my shoes on. I got my shoes on now. I got my shoes on now. I wish you would. I got my J's on. Let me take you to my city. Let me take you to my city. Oh, he finna go there. He finna go there. You see, I, I put it, I put it right, right on the mouthpiece. He finna go there. Look at his mouthpiece. The mouthpiece showing. Mouthpiece showing. Mouthpiece showing. Move your head. I set it up. I told you I was going to get him. I told you I was going to get him. I told you. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Look out. Look out for that right there. I seen, I seen Zay set me up the same fucking way. Zay set me up and did the same damn thing. I can't believe that shit worked. You see that footwork? Did you see that fight fans? Did you see that footwork? You better clip it. You better clip it. You don't know what I'm talking about? You better clip it. You don't know what I'm talking about? Anybody doing high level fighting? Anybody doing high level fighting? That that was the move. That's the ticket right there. That's the fucking ticket. I can't believe that shit. That shit worked. That's the ticket, y'all. Y'all ain't doing no high level fighting. I got I got some different shit up in NBK. I got the sauce, baby. I got the sauce up in NBK. You should have been paying attention. If you missed it, you better clip and go back. You better rewatch the stream or whatever you got to do. I don't know if you really seen it. I don't know if you really seen it. You better hit instant replay. You better hit the instant replay. That shit is so crazy, bro. That shit is so crazy that it even works. That shit is so crazy that it even works. For those of y'all that seen that punch, that shit is so crazy that it even works. I can't believe it. That shit got me up out of my seat. I done forgot what the hell I was doing.
Yo, J Locks, is the game show gonna be on today? You gonna stream today? <laughs> is Ricky the Canelo of lightweight? Uh, I think I think Crawford's the Canelo of lightweight, but Crawford is banned. Everybody banned Crawford. So the next person up would be George Linares. With Crawford being banned, George Linares is actually the better, the best fighter in lightweight. Well, uh. With Sugar Ray Robinson and, and Crawford being banned, George Linares is the best one. Say, so, yeah, I'm gonna get to busting it out, doing my trucking right now. Might be a night stream. Yo, J Locks, you a truck driver, CDL driver? It's too late. Oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. J Locks. Yeah. I just got my CDL this year too, man. I'm thinking about uh thinking about quitting doing what I'm doing. Right now I load trucks. I'm a forklift driver. I load trucks. I'm thinking about going ahead and getting on getting on the road a little bit. In the meantime, in between time. Yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I could, how much over the road I could do because my wife liked me to be at home. But, uh, I might do, I might be able to do a little local stuff. To be like some little part-time local stuff, hopefully. Man, I need to go ahead and put, I need to go ahead and put Bud to sleep, y'all. I need to put Bud to sleep. Just hate I can't be consistent on stream as I want. Low key, want to quit. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I feel the same way, J Lock, bro. Ever since I didn't. Ever since I done got a, a taste of this stream shit, I'm like, bro, this all I want to do. This all I want to do, bro. No oh, man. He, he, I'm not letting you knock me out. I'm going to take a knee. I'm not letting you knock me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I love I love the money. I love the money and stuff. But uh, I'm hoping that I could get I could get the stream going to where I could put myself in position to uh. Oh man, yo Jay, you got a nice stream, bro. You got a nice stream. You just gotta, you know what I'm saying. I'm promoting you as much as I can, bro. You got a nice stream. That shit is that shit is live, bro. Like, 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 no lie, bro. You don't even have to be the best fighter out there. You doing all the, all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got all the intangibles. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be the best fighter. People don't want to sit here and watch boxing every single day unless, unless you like a fucking legend. Outside of that, they want to see the entertainment, bro. You got all the entertainment and then some. You got all the entertainment. Your stream be loud in the bitch. I thought I thought I was motherfucking live on stream. My shit look like my shit like low key trash compared to yours. <laughs> I think people people be in here because I be getting lit with the community. You know what these guys be t talking about? I can't beat them. I be like, I be talking shit. I think they really, I think most people really want it. They want to hear me. They want to hear me hype up the fight. I be talking that shit. <laughs> you know, I'm talking cash money. I want to smoke. That's what the people want. They want they want to smoke. I'm finna go ahead and knock this Crawford out. I'm finna knock him out.
Where you going, bud? Where you going, bud? Paparazzi. Paparazzi finna get you, bud. Woo, there go the paparazzi. One more time. One more time for your motherfucking mind. Come on. Come on. Get up off the back foot. Get up off the back foot. Don't run from the gun. Don't run from the gun, baby. Don't run from the gun. I just want to have fun. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm working on... He turtled up. He turtled up. He turtled up. He can't, he can't take it. He can't take the heat. Huh? He can't take the heat. Come on, bud. I'm chopping down the tree. I'm chopping, I'm chopping down the tree. Ooh, I'm chopping down the tree. You see that? I slap. Ooh, powder up. Powder up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, J Surge. J Surge. Hey, J Surge got it together, y'all. J Surge. Hey, Surge. Are, 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 is you putting out the, uh, you putting out the notice now or what's up? Is you, is you putting out the promotional or whatever now, J Surge? Is like, can I talk about it? Is the cat out the bag? Is the cat out the bag now or what's up? Cause I, I know you didn't want me to say nothing about it before, but is the cat out the bag on the NBK? Is it finalized? Oh, he caught me. He caught me with that bullshit. He caught me with that Bud Crawford bullshit. That's why that's why this motherfucker banned right there. That's why he banned. Cause he cause he catch you with that bullshit. That's that Bud Crawford shit. Oh, I didn't get up. I thought I got up. Oh, man, it, it was this much of a sliver. It was this much. I thought I was up. I went to look back at the stream, and then they're talking about some KO. Ain't that about a bitch? <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch, bro? I turned my head for one second, and they talking about some KO, bro. It was this much. Come on, bro. I... <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Goose, if you don't bring your ass back here, bro. Nah, don't don't, don't tell me no good fight shit. I don't wanna hear nothing about that. If you don't bring your ass back here, nah, I don't wanna hear nothing about that. Nope, I don't wanna hear nothing about what you're saying. Nah, come on, run it back. Run it back. <laughs> run it back. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't even got time. We gonna speed this bad boy up. There you go. We're going to speed it up. I'm gonna, Since you got Bud Crawford, I'm going to bring out George Linares, and we're going to speed up the process. We're going to speed up the process a little bit. I could fight with George Linares and Ricky Haddon. I just pick Ricky Haddon because I know everybody want to pick George Linares. So, you know, I'm, I just get him my Ricky Haddon ready because I don't like doing mirror matches. But George, George Linares right here, he finna go ahead and speed up the process. He finna speed up the process. I'm gonna go ahead and piece him up real quick. That damn goose, that's a nice record you got right there. 156.10, that's a really nice record you, you rocking. His name is pronounced Jorge Linares. Jorge. Goose said he's sick and tired of me butchering that shit. He said, man, let me let me go ahead and fix this dude. This dude on the stream. He talked, he said talking about some George to 31 viewers and shit. Go ahead and t t say it the right way. Jorge Linares. I got you, Jorge. Espanol. I know I know a little I know a little some Espanol, you know what I'm saying? I know a little Espanol. Yeah. I'm saying Terrence Brooke Crawford is basura. Basura. I 
man. You stepping on my damn toes, man. Back up. Put these lightning hands on you real quick. And get pieced up. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He putting them paws on me, y'all. Oh, not. Oh, no, sir. Did you see me? Did you see me? That's the punch I like. That's the one I like. Oh, my goodness. Did you see me, y'all? Did you see me, y'all? That's the one I said I wanted. That's the one I said I wanted. That's the one I said I wanted, y'all. I hit it. I hit that bad boy in reverse. I hit that bad boy in reverse. That's the one. Somebody said, what's my favorite punch? The one I just caught him with right there. I did it again. Caught him with the other side. I hit it with forward and reverse. Forward and reverse. What's up, bud? Caught him. Caught him looking. Caught him looking. I told you we was going to speed up the process. I told you we was going to speed up the process. Took him straight to Hook City with a Learjet. Gas up the jet, baby. Gas up the jet. Toe tag, body bag. Zip them up. Put them in the back of the wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo, wee woo. Put them back there. Oh my goodness, he caught me. He caught me with the with the big paws. The cocaine bear. Watch out from the watch out. The cocaine bear with no hair. Watch out for him, y'all. Watch out for him. Oh my goodness. Oh, he does it again. He does it again. That man on some demon time. The cocaine bear with no hair. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. I got some lightning hands for that ass. Quit playing with me. Well, I seen it coming. I seen it coming a mile away. Put them skippity paps down. Put them skippity paps down, bro. Put them down. You got no paws, no draws. There it is. There it is. Don't salt shake me. Don't salt shake me. He calling you trash cracking. There you go. Caught him. Caught him. Lightning. Lightning strikes again, baby. Head on red. Watch out. Cocaine bear. Watch out for the cocaine bear with no hair. Watch out for him. Ooh, I gave him the business right there. I gave him the business. I told you I gave him the business. I told you I gave him the business. I seen it. I seen it. Hook City. I smell blood in the water. Blood.
I got him out there in the deep water. He don't want no more. He don't want no more. I got him out there in the deep water with a Mexican shark. What's up? Come on, cocaine bear. Come on. Let's see if I can walk you into some bullshit. Let me see if I can walk you into some. Ooh. Got him. Right on the chin. Right on the chin, baby. Bow. Woo! Does 1.5 keep the energy up? I know it. I know it causes more damage, but I'm talking about the white line energy. I'm playing the lobby matches. Nah, I ain't, nah, that's lightning hands, baby. Lightning hands. I told, I told you we was gonna speed things up. Zeus, oh baby, Zeus. That's right, Spanish Zeus in the building. Zeus ult, baby. Lightning strike. Uh. What is it? I know. Uh, in it. So, uh, what I'm playing on, I'm playing on a 1.5 damage with a 1.5 uh, stamina. And you says, uh, I know it causes more damage, but I'm talking about the white line energy. Uh, the white line energy, basically, when, you uh, when you're playing on 1.5 damage and 1.5 stam, um everything comes a little bit faster you don't have to like beat on somebody for like 12 rounds to knock them out basically like uh if you you only can make a few mistakes you make one or two mistakes you finna get knocked out because um the 1.5 stam uh whenever you punch and all the actions you do it costs more stamina and whenever you get hit in the stomach and things like that you lose more stamina faster so it like it condenses the fight or like it condenses uh like the things that you do in the fight like if you hit somebody with a uh with a counter punch it's gonna hurt even more it's gonna hurt more it's gonna hurt your stamina bar more everything is gonna be uh intensified uh times 0.5 it's gonna be higher damage higher stamina burn you know um you know what's like it's basically like you could get a speeding ticket on the street or you get a speeding ticket in the school zone, you finna pay two or three times the price in the school zone. So we fighting in the school zone. That's what's going on. We fighting in the school zone. If you fuck up, you finna get a high ass ticket. I'm finna take you straight to Hook City. Straight to Hook City. Your bank account better be fat. Hell yeah, McLovin, bring it. Bring it, McLovin, bring it. I know you've been eyeballing me. I know you've been eyeballing me all day. You've been watching the footwork. You've been watching the footwork. <laughs> huh? You've been watching me. I've been moonwalking on him. He cheats. Watch out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you who cheats. Anybody using lightning hands. Lightning hands is OP and cheating like a motherfucker. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Lightning hands is some bullshit. I think any fighter with lightning in their hands need to be banned immediately. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, McLovin, what's the rules, baby? What's the rules, McLovin? What we trying to do? I, I know you said you like middleweight, right? You like middleweight and heavyweight. Yeah, Bud is banned. And, and that lightning hand Garcia dude, uh, Jorge Linares, he should be banned too. So it was banned versus banned. Yo, BG. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Uh, so we're we're good to start promoting, but I want you to be savvy with with everything, so you're not stepping over or fumbling over what you're promoting. Okay. But right now, I just need you to promote. 
Hey, you're you're on you're on the stream. You can go ahead. You can say it okay. yourself. I need I need any and all camp camp leaders to contact me. So what we're doing right now is what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, con I want the camps to contact us. I want them to. I'm, I gotta propose. We're, our first invitation is gonna be the each camp brings their top five fighters. So, uh, if we can get them to contact us, if they're interested, that'd be great. Uh, so anybody you know that's running a camp or has contacts to another camp, have them reach out to me. I want to invite them to our invitational. We're going to have our top five fighters from our camp and then, uh, the, only the top 20. So what is that? Do the math on that five, you know, five more camps with five fighters. Nah, right, that'd five be, camps that'd be with five fighters. Four, four camps. Four camps of five fighters. Yeah. So, uh, it's a it's a seasonal invitational. It's it's a four week season. Just uh, I don't have much more I can say right now other than just reach out to me and uh, we'll get y'all set up and see if we can't make that happen. But yeah, so anytime you see somebody coming to your stream, busy or something like that, that you know or something, have them that that are in a camp or like I try reaching out to Slayer. Um. Uh, he hadn't got back with me yet, so Slayer, you know anybody from Jab, yeah, anybody from Kingdom him. Camp, anybody from Biz Camp, whatever. Um, we want the we want the only the best fighters, the top twenty best fighters. So, but we want to incorporate the camps in it. So, bring your uh, best five fighters, and uh, we're gonna see who the best camp is at the end of the season. Awesome. That's great. That's great news. NBK, we hosting uh, a tournament. And uh, are we bringing the Canelo back? We hosting a tournament. Uh, like Jay Surge said. And yeah, Jay Locks, that was that was Surge. We hosting the tournament. It's an invitational. We want the best fighters. It's going to last uh, three to four weeks, like he said. And uh, I believe at the end of the tournament, there will be opening. It's a, it's a season. It's a league season. Yeah, season, it's a three week, yeah, three week season. Three week season. At the end of the season, we have a tournament. We only take the top six fighters from the from the season. They go into the tournament to determine the seasonal champion, the MBK champion, overall champion. That person will maintain that title until somebody dethrones him next season. And then. At the end of the season, the bottom five, the, the bottom five camp, the, the worst camp gets dropped, replaced with another camp or five fighters, five new fighters. Yeah, so that, so that, so uh, people that to, to get to watch the uh, tournament or whatnot, watch the league for the four weeks. Yeah, um, you, you definitely, um, if you want to get a, a spot in, you know, be paying attention and uh, try to get invited into the into the next season, and. Uh, it's basically going to be a very, a very, very competitive uh, uh, league that we're, that we're running. Exclusive and competitive. We're not going to have none of that BS where people not showing up to fights and all that. We cutting all that out. It's going to be exclusive and, you know, some high tier, some high level striking. Ain't, ain't, none, of, ain't none of that BS. Fights not counting and all that. No. You yeah you finna come in and you finna get rocked you you finna go with the best of them so uh y'all keep y'all keep an eye out for that I will be promoting um that league play on uh on this channel on my stream I will promoting that be promoting that league play uh from now until we stop doing it uh I don't know if we're gonna if if it'll actually be streamed on my channel I think we'll probably have like a a, a MBK uh we might have a different a different channel that's actually going to stream that, um, but I yeah, will be promoting. I posted it. it in your chat. Okay, there there you go right there. Yeah, we're gonna have some different things going on. This gonna this gonna be uh, where you'll watch it, but you'll always be able to you know uh, find out what's going on through me, uh, and uh, and I'll be watching it myself if I'm when I'm not fighting in it or if I'm not fighting in it. I'll always be keeping an eye on it. There's gonna be some high level striking up in there. High level boxing. Fights, fights will be on Sundays and Thursdays. Sundays and Thursdays, folks. I know y'all chilling on Sundays. Y'all ain't doing shit. I signed on when I started my live stream with like three people streaming. I know y'all ain't doing a damn thing. Come watch the tournament. <laughs>
I got his head on red, y'all. I got his head on red. You think I don't know? Oh, I know. His head on red. Canelo already hurt. I seen the paparazzi. One more hook would have did it. One more hook would have put him in the back of the wee woo wee woo. Oh, he's stinging right now. It's stinging. I hit him with that stinging thing. He finna be on the back foot, y'all. I'm finna put him on the back foot. Uh-oh, got my shoes on. Got my shoes on. I'm finna put Canelo on the back foot, y'all. Got my shoes on. Ooh, he almost caught it. He almost caught the fade. Oh, there it is. There he go, there he go. He finna catch the fade, y'all. He, oh, he lucky, he lucky. I'm, I was a little bit gassed. That man hurt. That man hurt. Oh, he tried to be cute with it. He tried to get cute with it. There it is. There it is. I told you. That was a real tough first round. That was a real tough first round. Let's see if let's see if he can keep up. Let's see if he can keep up. Let's see if he can keep up. If he don't keep up, he gonna sink in Hook City. He gonna sink. I'm dropping him off in the bottom of the ocean. Toe tag, body bag. He's swimming with the fishes. Oh, he tried to set me up. Oh, he tried to set me up. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, you you saw I got greedy right there. You seen me get greedy. You saw you saw it. I was, I was. He was paying attention. Goose looking at the fight. He was paying attention. He saw me get greedy. Ha! <laughs> Almost caught me again. I'm gonna play nice. I'm gonna play nice. I'm gonna play nice. I'm gonna play nice. I, I did I did a little too much in the first round. I did too much in the first round. Goose paying real good attention because he can't see my stamina, but he knows. He knows. He can't see my stamina, but he knows. That's a good eye, Goose. That's a real good eye. He hit me with the Canelo cheese. He hit me with the Canelo cheese. Damn, he Canelo cheese me again, bro. He Canelo cheese me again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I was gonna take a knee. I was gonna take a knee. He Canelo cheese the hell out of me. I didn't. I didn't foresee that coming. I did. I didn't know that he had that in his toolbox. That he had the Canelo cheese in his toolbox. I did not know that. But my man knows the Canelo cheese. He pulled it out the toolbox. He said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> hell nah, bro. Hell nah. He tried He tried to fuck me up. That, that time, I wasn't gonna let me, I wasn't gonna let him do me like that. I wasn't gonna let him do me like that. Boy, he tried to, he tried to give me like a, a fucking 10-7 round. It's a 10-8 round. But he really tried to, he really, he really tried to put the work on me. He really tried to put the work on me. I'm still good. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Oh, he tried to line me up again. Yeah, yeah, you lose a point. He was trying to knock me out three times in that round. Was it was it was it two knockout? I thought he only got me once and I took a knee. So that's a 10-8 round. Was that a 10-7 round? It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. 10, 7, or 9. We ain't going to the decision anyways. Ain't nobody finna make it to the 12th round. Nobody gonna make it to the 12th round. what I tell you? what I tell you? Nobody gonna make it to the 12th round. He got lucky right there. He got a little lucky. Come on, come on, polar bear. Come on, polar bear with red hair. What's up? 
What's the, oh, I caught you with the fade, bro. I caught you with the fade. Canelo feeling it. He's feeling it. I got him on the back foot, y'all. I got him on the ropes. What's he going to do? What's he going to do on the ropes? Huh? You going to be a man? You going to be a bear? Or you going to be a mouse? He going to be a bear or a mouse? Which one he going to be? Which one he going to be? I got him on the back foot. Oh, he ate it. He ate a flush one. He ate a flush one. I don't need paparazzi to tell me. I don't need paparazzi to tell me. I know he hurt. I know he hurt. If you're scared, go to church. If you're scared, go to church. Oh, he, he's, he's Canelo cheesing me. He's Canelo cheesing me. Oh, my goodness. Sugar Ray's in trouble. Sugar Ray's in trouble. Woo! Woo wee! He said, don't let him swim too long or it could be you to drown. <laughs> you told your kids you can't go swimming, but Canelo could take you swimming. <laughs> Goose in the chat. Goose in the chat. It was a 10-7 round. He can do math better than me. Oh, what happened? What had happened was, what had happened was, what had happened was, Oh my goodness, there it is. Oh, he almost, he literally, if this game would put back damage, if there was back damage in this game, I would have knocked him out. Let me go ahead and send him to an early grade. I can't believe I hit him in the back and it didn't give me the damage. It's time to go. Night, night time, baby. It's time to go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep. Hook City. Hook City. I told you, I'm the anti Nello. You can't play Nello against me. I'm the anti Nello. I told you. I shut Nello down. I told you I shut him down. Don't pick him. Don't choose him. Don't do it. Bad matchup. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Even with the cheese. The cheese can't save you. The cheese can't save you. Oh my God. The cheese. The cheese. The cheese. <laughs> he said, fuck it. He going down with the boat. He said he going down with the boat. I'm not going. I'm not going to get. Hold up. I'm gonna get up this time. I'm getting up. I'm getting up this time. Oh my god. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm fucking up. I got up. I got up. I got up. I got up. Oh my god. I almost fucked up on the hands. I had to focus. I had to focus. Did you miss anything? You didn't miss nothing. You didn't miss nothing. Just some more graves in Hook City. Just more graves. He coming out with the Canelo cheese immediately. You think I'm a fool? No. Right there. Right there. I told. What the fuck? Did you see that? Did you see how how cheesy the Canelo cheese is? That shit shouldn't even have connected. That shit should not have connected. Did you see how cheesy the Canelo cheese really is? Did you see how cheesy it is? That shit should not have connected. It was moving in slow motion like this, bro. It was moving in slow-mo. Slow-mo like this, bro. And it still KO'd me. The Canelo cheese is real, homie. Oh my goodness, it is real. But I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Here he come with the same move, with the same move. The same girl that called you, called me. I promise you, the same girl that called you, called me. She for the streets. Get up, Nello. Get up, Craig. Get up, Craig. Ooh, that was a fast one right there. Ooh, that was one straight from fight night. That was a fight night you put you tried to put on me. I seen you. That was a fight night. He still got it in his blood. He still got the fight night in his blood. He still got it in his blood. But not up in here. Arr, arr. Not up in here. You can't piss like a puppy and run with the big dogs. Not up in her. Arr. Huh? 
Get up, Craig. Oh, man, and he came back with the cheese. Almost. My head was on red. He came back with the Canelo cheese. I told you don't do it. I told you I wasn't going to lose to it. I told you. Who in the deep water now? I got the Nello. I'm the Nello killer. And he's back up again. This man is crazy with the hands. Wee woo, wee woo. Oh, my God, bro. He all. He all. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, we got us a Mexican zombie up in here. We got a Mexican zombie up in here. Can I do it to him one more time? Can I do it to him one more time? I know what he's going to do. He's going to come with the cheese. Can I stop the cheese? Can I stop the cheese? He's holding the pose. He's holding the pose. He's going to pull out the wine. He's going to wine me. He's going to pull out the wine. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Not right now, little girl. Not right now, little girl. Can I do it? He's going to wine me. What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? What's going to happen, guys? He's coming with the wine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I had to take my shoes off. Took my shoes off. He tried to line me up with the power straight. I said no. And it's all over. That's all she wrote. That's all. Oh my God. He got out of it. He got out of it. He got out of it. Let's see what he can do. I'm going to stick it to him again. I'm going to stick it to him again. Let's see what he can do. He coming with the wand. He winded. He winded. I'm pretty sure my head on red, but I don't know. But I don't know. Underneath. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Ooh. I'm sure he almost tore my ass up. He winding. I'm dipping. I'm ducking. Block on red. He ain't going to get me. I ain't having it. He won't do it to me. Not this round. Not this round. He ain't going to do it to me. Mama ain't raised no fool. Stay in school. Stay in school. Mama ain't raised no fool. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Fight smarter, not harder. I don't need to beat him in this round. I don't need to beat him in this round. I'm going to KO him in the next round. The next round. He going down the next round. I'll have to beat him this round. Fight smarter, not harder. I know something you don't know. You got to you gotta join MBK to find out. Oh, there we go. There we go. He come up with the Canelo cheese. It ain't going to work. I just got to finish him, guys. I got to finish him. Oh, he ate a flush one. He is going down. I can tell you right now. It's all over with for my good friend Canelo. I'm finna flush him down the toilet. It's over with. It's over, Canelo. It's over. I smelt it. I smelt it. I smelt it. You dealt it. It's over with. The Mexican zombie will not get up, folks. That's a 10 count. I put him in a grave. Shallow grave. He ain't getting up, folks. I'm sorry. It's all over with. Canelo killer. You seen it here. You seen it here first. You seen it here first, y'all. He did a good job, man. He came out with the Canelo cheese. He almost got me. He almost did me in. But Sugar Red, Sugar Ray Leonard said no with a Matumbo wave. He said no. No, no. It's not going to happen. Canelo can't do it. Can't do it. Ain't going to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that magic wand. Yeah, Canelo pull out that wand. He whoop, whoop, whoop. He'll erase your motherfucking ass if you if you let him. He'll hit that hoe and erase your ass. 
Boy, you better quit playing with that Nello wine. Yeah, I know about the cheese. Like I said, I played Nello for about 60 days. I know all about Nello. I know all about the Nello cheese. Uh, I think I got about one more fight in me, guys. I got about one more fight. Anybody, anybody want to catch this fight? What? Ignoring calls all day. I think I got one more fight, y'all. Uh, I think you gonna, I think you and McLove are gonna need more time. I right, say that. What you mean? What you mean we gonna need more time? Say what? <laughs> yeah, I think I thought I, I think I only had time for one more one more fight. Uh, if somebody want to fight, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the co uh, lobby code in here. Put the lobby code in here. In case I got somebody that want to pull up real fast, if you want to pull up, there go the code. Um, oh, he said he about to get me this time. He about to get me this time. He gonna run. You gonna run Nello back one one more again? You gonna run him back again? Let's see what he gonna do. I don't know who he go, who who is who is he gonna pick. Let me see. I got the wrong. There go middleweight. There go the right correct settings. I'm guessing you are gonna pick Nello. I'll pre-pick Sugar Ray. I think that's what's gonna happen here. Um, now let me check my um, check my other stuff. Uh, Twitch. One second here, one second. I'm trying to get a little organized. Close some of this stuff. Oh, okay, okay. He said he wanna go, he wanna go uh Leonard. Alright. Okay, he wants to go Leonard. So I think I got something for this. Y'all, y'all that uh, just started watching me, you know, uh, yesterday, basically since I took an L uh, yesterday, y'all know that, uh, y'all know about how I feel about, you know, cheese in the game and stuff. And I took an L. I said my, uh, my Sugar Ray Leonard at the time couldn't beat this guy. So, uh, I got a little something. We're going to see how cheesy he really is. This is gonna be a good experiment. Nah, nah, come on, bro. How, how you gonna switch? You know what? Fuck it. Which one you want? Which one you want? Damn. Either one of these will be a sci a science experiment for me. Either one of them. You want Sergio or or you want or you want Sugar Ray Leonard? Either one of these is gonna be a science experiment. I think I know how to beat Sergio with Sugar Ray Leonard, but I'm not sure. Okay, he wants to be Sugar Ray Leonard. All right. This is, a, this is a science experiment. I do not know if I will win. I do not know. I haven't had this matchup enough. So this is experiments right here. I do know one thing. I do know I got my ass whooped yesterday trying to beat Sergio as, as, a, as a Sugar Ray Leonard. I got beat on, bro. I had to take that L. Boy, shit on me. 
because this matchup is a little bit weird. Southpaws is weird, and I think the only way to fight a Southpaw is to be a Southpaw. But we're going to find out if uh, if McLovin knows how to be a Southpaw. It says, sugar about to give you the diabetes. Yeah, we're going to find out. if any, I think if anybody just instinctually knows how to beat a Southpaw, I think McLovin has a good chance at it because clearly he's got a good fighting background so let's see um what strategy he pulls out let's see what he does see how you see how he feels about this southpaw bullshit because it is bullshit I can already tell, I can already tell this Southpaw is bothering McLovin. I can see it. And this tells me right away that this Southpaw is bothering McLovin. The Southpaw is broken in this game. It's absolutely broken. McLovin is extremely bothered by it right now. It is fucking broken. I want you, and, and McLovin, I know it's broken. I know Southpaw's broken. I want you to tell the fans exactly what's broken. I want you to tell them exactly what you're having a problem with. And I know what he's going to say. I know what you're going to say, McLovin. I already know exactly what you're going to say, what's broken with this fighter. I already know, but I want you to say it. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to poison the well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put anything in your mind. I want you to speak your own mind. I know what's wrong with it. I know what's wrong with the matchup. Like I said, I'm not gonna poison the well. I want make I wanna make loving to come back to the channel after the fight, and I want him to say exactly what's wrong with it you don't have to you don't have to say it right now in between rounds you can say it after the fight exactly what exactly what you're experiencing because i know what it is McLovin is. I guess maybe he's <laughs> Yeah, it's the hitbox, folks. It's the hitbox. It's the hitbox. It is so broken against the Southpaw, it is unbelievable. Even McLovin says it. The hitbox is absolutely broken. And this guy needs to not be in any league play whatsoever. He should not be in league play, but leagues are allowing it. Leagues are allowing it, and it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. This dude has a broken hitbox beyond belief. And a lot of people don't want to don't want to acknowledge it. They just want to say that it's a lie or it's this or it's that. His hitbox is absolutely broken. And the only person that's lying to you is the person that is allowing this hitbox.
experiencing a whole lot of lag right now. A ton of lag. It's really weird. I don't know if it's on my end or if it's on his end, but we are experiencing a ton of lag. I just turned off my Wi-Fi from my phone. I think my Wi-Fi on my phone makes the, makes me have lag a lot, so I just turned it off. Hopefully that clears it up and we don't get any more lag. And Sugar Ray is hurt. His body's hurt. That right there is absolute bullshit, fight fans. That right there is absolute bullshit. The ability that that um this softball Sergio Martinez has versus Orthodox fighters is absolute garbage. I don't want to see this guy inside of um inside of any league play, but obviously. Yes, yeah, Sergio is the most zero skill player in this game, bro. Uh completely freaking broken. Completely broken. His hitbox is broken. And uh and I would I don't want to see him in league play anymore, but my voice, like I can only say as much as I can say, man. Um that doesn't just because BZR says it and I proclaim myself to be a a top 50 or a top 10 player or a top five, whatever I say I am, DGL champ or whatever, that doesn't mean that that the boxing leagues are going to listen to me. That doesn't mean that DGL listen to me. That doesn't mean that WECB will listen or uh, w, uh, WBC or the ECA or any of these leagues, whatever, if I left a league out, Savage Boxing, whoever. Um, just because I say it doesn't mean that all these leagues will listen. Sergio Martinez is so fucking broken, bro. So broken. The only way you can fight a southpaw in this game is southpaw versus southpaw. It is you have to mirror match this guy. It's absolutely ridiculous and it should not be happening. Should not. Yes, yeah, the the fighter, Sergio Martinez the fighter isn't that good and the in the person, me the individual I am not good playing him. Uh, anybody that's picking him and playing him, the fighter isn't that good, and the player that's playing him isn't that good. What's happening is there's broken game mechanics in the game, and it gives the edge to anybody that picks Sergio Martinez. So Sergio Martinez, you have the competitive edge because his hitbox is broken. His hitbox is absolutely broken. It's not the player. It's not the fighter. It's the game. The game is broken. So they're going to have to fix that shit. They're going to have to fix it. They're going to either fix it or league play is going to have to ban him or everybody's got to play Southpaw. Southpaw will be the new meta. One of the two is going to have, like, something's going to happen. Uh, Sergio Martinez is absolutely fucking broken. And that's it. That's all I got to say about my rant. The dude's a broken ass fighter. And I don't want to hear shit about some top level Sergio Martinez players. I don't want to hear that shit because you know what? I know it. They know it. Everybody freaking knows Sergio Martinez is broken. So guys, y'all got to watch me fight. You got to watch the, uh, a sloppy inside outside brawler. I got a I'm got a brawler mentality. I'm a knockout artist. I'm sniffing out blood. Now you get to watch a professional pick pocket. You get to watch somebody that's super crisp. 
that will that will go straight into your defense and dethrone you anytime, anywhere. We finna watch the man, Angles TV. We finna watch Angles TV. Nah, uh, 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 Jaden, I'm off of here, man. I'm finna raid Angles TV. That was my last fight. We finna raid Angles TV. The man, the myth, the legend. This dude is crispy as fuck, bro. He's crispy. Starting up the raid. You better be sharp. You better be sharp as hell if you think you're going to fight Angles TV and wins. This dude is hella sharp. All right, we got the raid queuing up. We got a queue. We got, we gassed up the jet. We gassed up the jet. I got my ruler out right here. I got my ruler. And we finna put a 90 degree angle on that ass. Angle TV, here come the raid. In five, four, oh shit, three, two, one. Yo, my, my hand signs is all fucked up. We out of here. Yo, hold up, hold up. Yo, bees. What up? What up? Bees, thank you so much for the follow, <laughs> for the follow, for the raid, bro. Thanks for the raid, dog. Appreciate you. Yo, um, everyone coming from bees uh, chat. I'm just uh, I'm finishing up this food real quick and then I'm gonna hop on. All right. But yo, uh, bees, my guy, my guy, my guy, bees. Thank you so much. Yo, Polish, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Right on bees. Appreciate you so much, dog. I'll be right back. Hope you had a good stream, bro.